scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Lord, I acknowledge you, the doer of all good things, the giver of every dimension of wisdom. giver of all good things the giver of all good things the giver of all good things Hallelujah. The Bible says, in all your ways, acknowledge him. To acknowledge him means to recognize that he's the reason why you are what you are, where you are. Don't ever be careless about this. In all your ways. Lord, if anybody sees any wisdom in my life, it's because of you. I wish I could sing the song. I'm acknowledging you for for what you do in my life. I'm acknowledging you for who you are. Dance like you are. Dance like you are. I'm acknowledging you for who you are. For what you do in my life. I'm acknowledging you for who you are. Dance like you are. Dance like you are. Baba. Baba. Oh. Baba. Baba. Oh. 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 Baba. Oh. in my soul Jehovah be lifted in my life today even in my heart even in my soul Jehovah be lifted in my life today Baba oh Baba Baba oh Baba oh Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, as a family, we say thank you. There is not one of us who has what it takes to produce results. If there is anything in our lives, if there is anything in this ministry, that is worthy of commendation we declare that it is because of you we are not ashamed to declare your faithfulness you are our helper Ebenezer the Lord who has helped us 
for you are holy righteous and worthy my god i live to heart be lifted high be lifted high oh lord i live to heart for you Hallelujah. God is doing something mighty in your life. God is building something powerful in your life. God is making mighty men in this place. And he won't stop. He won't stop till you look just like him. He won't stop, no, he won't stop till your life looks like him. Let me prophesy to you again. God is raising mighty warriors in this place. God is raising men of honor in this place. He is raising men of influence in this place. My God is raising men of power in this place. You may cry, but he won't stop till your life looks like him. You may weep, but he won't stop till your life looks like him. When it's over, when it's over, when it's over, when it's over, suddenly you look like him. Suddenly you talk like him. Suddenly you walk like him. Suddenly you heal like him. He's raising me in this place. He's raising your finances in this place. He's raising your anointing in this place. He won't stop. He won't stop to we look just like him. Please don't stop. Never stop to we look just like you. Never stop. Never stop to we look just like He's raising men of fire in this place. He's raising men of vision in this place. He's raising men of wisdom in this place. He's showing his mysteries in this place. And he won't stop. No, he won't stop. He looks like him. He won't stop. He won't stop. Till your life looks like him. He won't stop. He won't stop. Till his bride looks like him. He won't stop. He won't stop. Listen. He won't stop. He won't stop. Till your life looks like him. He won't stop. He won't stop till your life looks like him. Listen, let me start tonight with a word of encouragement to someone. I don't care how your life is. You are a project that God is working on. Line upon line. Precept upon precept. Sometimes you may cry as the word comes sometimes you may wish the training stops but he won't stop please don't stop 
Till your church looks like you never stop. Please don't stop. Till your bride looks like you never stop. Never stop. Till our lives look like you never stop. Never stop. Till our lives look like you. So hold on. Yeah, my encouragement. Hold on. God is working. Oh, oh yeah. You may be discouraged. Hold on. You may weep. For when he's over, 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 when he's over. Suddenly you look like him. Suddenly you talk like him. Suddenly you open. Suddenly you rule like him. For the sun will no more give you sunlight by day. The moon will no more give you when it's done with you. Jehovah will be your everlasting light. He'll be your glory, your strength and your sight. For the light of the moon will be like the light of the sun. And the light of the sun will shine seven times as bright. When Yahweh binds up the wounds in your life. When he heals all the bruises inflicted by this world. Romans chapter 8 from verse 18 says, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy, listen, to be compared to the glory that shall be revealed. I reckon that for now, there are things that don't look like it yet. You are praying, but you've not seen the answer. You are fasting but there's nothing in your life you have a church and your church looks like a shop because nothing is happening he won't stop he won't stop till your life looks like him take this as a prophecy tonight till your life looks like him he won't stop he won't stop till your life looks like him please don't stop never stop till my life looks like you please don't stop no don't stop till my life lord i may cry but please don't stop till my life looks like you i may be tired but please don't stop till my life he won't stop Till our lives look like you. He'll never stop. Till our lives look like you. Never stop. Till my life looks like you. Hallelujah. Lord, we believe in you. We believe in you. We trust where you are taking us and we ask that you will take us there in the name of Jesus Christ Lord let our tears not stop you let our fatigue not stop you let our human weariness not stop you let not even our unbelief stop you in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. I'd like you to walk up to 10 people. Just prophesy to them. Tell them you are a wonder on your way to happen. Go ahead.
Hallelujah. God bless you. Please be seated. We will all be very great in this life. But the best part of it is that we will all know ourselves. Hallelujah. You see, every leader, please listen. Every leader, whether in church setting, has an assignment. Praise the Lord. Human beings are like, please pay attention, human beings are like, computers now that's not an insult i just want to explain something to you human beings are like gadgets only a leader knows what they will become because god revealed it to him are we together the people have an idea of what they are to become but they don't have it clearly and they don't know how to get there every true leader is a leader only because he has seen the end are we together now the job of the leader is to be able to lead the people their job is to trust him enough and follow him so the first assignment of everybody who wants to follow a leader is to probe the life of that leader until you think he's worthy of your loyalty and trust because it's risky to follow a leader who doesn't know where he's going he will take you anywhere dump you there are we together so the bible says without vision the people perish the word perish there is they miss their direction they cast off restraint listen brothers and sisters let me announce to you that god is taking you somewhere are we together i want you to trust please listen listen trust trust the teachings that you are receiving don't just agree with them mentally trust it it says trust in the lord right believe in the lord and you shall be established he said believe in his prophets not just no believe that the person God has placed in your life by grace has an idea on how to take you to where you need to go and you receive the truth. You see, the problem with many of us is we are not receptive to the word. We listen to it and compare it with what we know and if they tally, we believe it. If it does not tally, we dump it away. There are so many people. You see, let me tell you something. I was teaching the school of ministry students yesterday. Anywhere you see consistent result, there is understanding producing it. Are we together now? Please, I need your attention. Anywhere you see consistent results, there is understanding. It's not guesswork. It's not magic. It's not some charm. There is an intentional operation. Please, my man, come. Let me use him. You're looking beautifully dressed with your tie. Oh, this is lovely. Don't you think so? This is beautiful. You can dress like this on your wedding day, and I'm telling you, you are dear. You are perfect. This is, this is it. Praise the Lord. Sam, please come. Let me use these guys. I mean, these are my people today are looking superb. Learn to celebrate good things hallelujah poor people and mediocres fight and resent good things you know that spirit is dead here permanently was buried by me personally learn to celebrate nice things now my man you noted this tie right yes sir can you do it again yes sir sam can you knot your tie again yes sir were you in the same room when you were knotting your ties but the ties are knotted because there is a principle that has nothing to do with the person it is a law there is a way you turn this rope you later call tie and it looks beautiful like this 
so he was doing it in his house or in his room sam was doing it in his own house they had the same result no witch stopped it no demon stopped it are we together they can do it every week because it is built on principles this is how i want your life to run such that you may be in Aquaibom, you may be in zamfara it makes no difference as far as you see the laws of god has equal value everywhere it's not like naira and dollar it's not like petrol it's not like all of these things it has equal value everywhere he told cain if you do what is right will your sacrifice not be accepted i don't reject it because your name is cain you are violating something listen your journey every man of god every man of god when you get people born again by the spirit and open them up to the ministry of the holy spirit the next thing the very next thing is to begin to guide them change their mindsets pray for one minute prophesy lord i understand what is happening to me hallelujah hallelujah god bless you please sit down these two guys and another example this guy is called a christian brother a this is christian brother b are we together both of them came to jesus christ genuinely confessed his lordship he lives in their hearts he lives in their hearts but the quality of their lives are we together and the possibilities that can be produced from their lives become different because this brother got born again and he was planted in a church where the man of god though well-meaning is just guessing around whatever he feels like teaching i was telling the school of ministry students today he feels like teaching on rapture next week he teaches on relationship the next week he teaches on certain kinds of mysteries have hazard informations whereas this brother had the opportunity to be planted under a very visionary pastor who understands where he is taking him are we together at the end of two years you bring them together and this guy is well-meaning jesus is still lord over his life but there is no victory in any area of his life there is no operation of the spirit at work in him he's familiar with a lot of christian terminologies but there is complete barrenness in his life whereas this other brother has moved forward because informations move people forward something he did not know he's now receiving let me just give us a background before i go into the teaching of tonight listen school of ministry students just allow me to take a little of your lectures and just bring to the house i want you to know this especially if you're a man of god members only receive about 20 percent of the information that is communicated to them are you following me now the smartest member in any congregation cannot at the first instance of any teaching assimilate more than 20 percent of what is really taught so while you hear people say mm, preach preacher are we together and while we as men of god keep fooling ourselves thinking we are impressing people with mysteries we coin scriptures and greek and hebrew words and at the end of it the people are dazzled they get up and they shake and we think we are moving forward let me assure you the lifespan of that noise is not more than one week they will hear something else that's why you pastors teach members how to reign in certain dimensions but when they stand in real life situations they make foolish decisions do you know why because something here did not take one salmon to be wrong it took their entire growing up process a mindset a thinking 
so don't you think you will come with just one sermon renew your mind and people say in the name of jesus i'm tired of this mind to mean that they are free oh no no the word of god must be taught systematically there are three dimensions of assimilation i was teaching the school of ministry students the first level is awareness any information you hear trust me the first encounter with it is only awareness you really have not understood it although you will argue let me tell you what awareness is all about awareness is like um information stored in a system but random are we together so the information is in you but it's random it's scattered it cannot be filed and produced when it is appropriate that is the reason why many students read they read two days to the exam they go to the exam hall and they remember this formula is in my head but whether it's five is five up or down i cannot exactly understand because you see the mind is like a machine are you getting what i'm saying now because you were only aware of the information later on you will remember but you do not have the power to remember it when you want because it's still at the level of awareness so you are learning tithing you are learning on the anointing you are learning on the ministry of the holy spirit you think you have gotten it but it's still in the realm of awareness the second level is called understanding where the logic and the principle behind that operation now enters into your spirit so you are no longer just aware of the information you understand it it says in all thy getting get understanding are we together now there are things in my life i thought i had gotten i would have argued but in recent times i'm looking at them and i'm surprised i'm like my goodness so what did i think i got that's why you must be very meek in the presence of god is god speaking to us understanding the third level and that's where god is taking us is mastery everybody say mastery the third level is mastery at that point the, the revelations have become a stronghold in your mind you cannot undo it again it has become part of your convictions that's the realm of settled faith you are not jacking yourself into believing that reality he said but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded persuaded You may be like this brother or this person in this place tonight this gentleman comes to church with his philosophies let's go to church i'm a christian let me go and hear what god has to say and when the message is going on he looks at people writing and he feels guilty he says bros you have two virus he collects it because he does not even understand why people write it is not a revelation to him he's just embarrassed that in a whole row he's the only one not writing and he says let me write what did they even say ecclesiastes he just put dash 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 he's not he's not even conscious of the information he's writing whereas someone is sitting like a sponge waiting for every truth and he's writing are we together now this is this brother like many of us we come to god with our stumbling blocks our mindsets our ideologies so many pastors so many people business leaders many all kinds of ideas and then as though we came to watch a cinema let's hear what god has to say and then when one looks impressive he said guy that's smart the other one said eh, do i exactly agree no only a fool argues with the word of god the word of god is supposed to be like a hammer in your life when it comes let it crush everything that does not have stamina in your life and give way refuse to have loyalty to wrong ideologies don't hold on to them because of the solidarity of how long they have been in your life that that's the information you've known all your life does not mean you are right 
are we together be like the other brother your heart receptive oh i'm a man of god but i know there is more i'm a businessman but i know there is more i'm a leader but i know there is more i've seen the anointing of god in my life but i know there is more i have seen myself operating the prophetic but i know this this cannot be it this can't be it god is so much bigger than this he's calling us deeper 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 he's calling us deeper hallelujah any church any pastor any man of God that is not committed to teaching his members the principles not stories are we together not opinions the principle you change men by changing their convictions you change men by altering their convictions you change men by altering their convictions a man cannot change if his convictions doesn't change a man cannot change if his thinking is still the same so the word of god comes to you and begins to propose a new life you have lived this life but i show you a more excellent way it's up to you to believe god enough or argue it let me tell you something i have watched and and sometimes we discuss it especially in recent times with Ejimi. i have watched with shock how very ignorant people ignorant pastors ignorant leaders ignorant businessmen argue with those who have results to me i define that as the highest level of pride i will never argue with a man who has results when i stand before people whose lives i greatly admire my heart at once i take up all that title apostle so so and so and i sit down when i see a man communicating a dimension of reality i have not seen in my life i dare not argue i listen and i listen sincerely it doesn't mean i receive everything but i listen i listen without any sense of cynicism i lay my golden crowns thank god for the little i know but i want to know more and i must be meek because the lesser is blessed of the greater colleagues don't bless themselves they advise themselves are we together nah. that that foolish thinking that is eating the body of christ that makes everybody come and then you say oh let me listen oh sam this is i'm impressed you see an ignorant man listen to a pastor who spends two hours teaching something that can change his life and at the end he comes to the person and says wow very nice the ignorant man will not say my goodness you changed my life can i have your tapes can i establish any strategic alliance with you everybody say i'm becoming wise say it i'm becoming wise give me anybody and i say this with all due respect give me anybody any two people any two people at all all i need from any of them is a teachable heart a truly teachable heart bring this guy from london with the little knowledge he knows bring this guy from my village somewhere are we together bring two of them to me let this guy have a teachable heart genuinely teachable let this guy have an arrogant heart give me six months believe me when i tell you six months of thorough mentorship six months with, with a heart that is malleable i will produce a wonder 
you compare them after six months their difference is like light and darkness that's what is happening to some of us but the problem is some of us are not paying attention we are not seeing what God is doing never come to the presence of God just to worship to fall down to stand up and to leave there is a measure of transformation happening to you line upon line precept upon precept here a little there a little then your life is changing changing your thinking is changing all of a sudden you were somebody who would not even comb your hair but you are a prayer warrior are we together you've never seen the relevance of a comb something about the spirit of excellence touches you and you say if i add a good prayer life to character and comb my hair well is that not an added advantage are we together all of a sudden you find out that you are a prayer warrior but you are poor and broke and every door of finance is closed and then the word of god is coming at first let me tell you how you will react because most likely the people who taught you how to pray may not teach you to pay attention to finances so it doesn't matter let me just be serious with god god will reward me for my prayer but as the word of god comes you will find out that one truth in the kingdom does not replace the other you can excel in one dimension and still fail in another he made many lights but he made two great lights there's not just one light the kingdom of god is made up of systems your understanding of the operation in any system will deliver the results for you so that you are living in divine health does not guarantee prosperity that you are rich does not guarantee a healthy spiritual life are, are we together now yeah so the word of god keeps balancing you you now begin to understand the systems of god say the systems of god please say it again the systems of god yes there are different departments of spiritual operation there is the economy of the kingdom there is the economic system of the kingdom are we together there is the governmental system of the kingdom right there are systems in the kingdom there are operations that are responsible for the delivery of the anointing dramatic proportions of grace upon the life of a man there are possibilities of god that can activate your finances you can master god's economy there is another dimension that can make you excel when you understand god's concept and idea of relationships then you will be a successful person spiritually then you will be a millionaire multi-millionaire are we together then you will be an award-winning husband or wife with the ability to train children then you will be kingdom driven and not carried away by those things that is a complete man that is a picture of the true bride of christ anything short of this order is like taking the four legs of a table and you stand on just one how long can you stand you were designed to stand on two hallelujah pray a prayer point right now quickly and say lord expose to me my areas of ignorance i am willing to receive pray thank you guys thank you please pray expose oh god unto me the areas of ignorance in my life i'm not too arrogant to receive your word i'm not too proud i'm a great businessman i'm a great man of god but lord i tremble at your word i'm not part of those who argue with your word my heart is open because the word of god has the ability of influencing my mind it can change me it's my bailout from a bad background it's my bailout from a life of suffering it's my bailout from a life of carnality expose unto me hallelujah are you following me now are we together there is an area in your life where you have not tapped into the understanding of the laws of the kingdom it may be in the area of excellence 
you have not gotten a revelation that personal excellence is a language in the school of success you may not know you're a sincere person are we together so you don't pay attention to being excellent whether your shoe is polished or not you don't care all you know is god be glorified whether your shirt is ironed or not you don't care are we together now yes you don't pay attention to those details because you think they are carnal then the word of god begins to come and says in addition to your spiritual alignment begin to learn these principles then you learn them you start applying it to your business are we together whereas before customers will come and stand outside yes who is there and he, ah, i came to buy milk how much you don't know how much you are losing because of that wrong mindset all of a sudden you take the spirit of excellence to your business you are a prayer warrior but something is changing your mind and because you are receptive you now arrange tables employ one person as a receptionist when customers come you now greet them hello you are welcome and they are surprised ah bros you don't change they are trying to bring you back to yesterday and you forbid it i've been excellent please you can sit down sir how may we help you and the person squares up himself and says, i'm impressed where is your manager oh he's busy but i'll get to him um if there's anything i can do to make your life comfortable please i will the person calls his friend and say bros you want to travel to lagos whereas i mean there's somebody who is here and willing to help you that business connection come are we together excellence you have taken it to your business all of a sudden a sudden you've taken it to your academics your notebooks are no longer in your pocket you don't fold them like a thief and put it in your pocket the spirit of excellence is influencing your life all of a sudden you realize i'm 26 i'm no longer a child i need to start behaving well all this dressing wearing a shirt as if one one torn shirt no singlet inside you've never considered buying singlet you sag your trouser the belt has caught you all kinds of things have happened you just move around and you suddenly sit down and say ah, god bless me with ten thousand let me buy at least two nice shirts one nice trouser i found out that i am 27 i don't have a suit but i've bought food for 10 ladies and none of them like me let me go and get suit. the spirit of excellence is changing you you no longer find yourself among those who are gossiping and gisting they just come around you start speaking not like where you are but like where god is taking you to are we together somebody come have you heard he says not necessary please i my time is allocated I say, ah, ah, which one is all this time time thing he say no 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 i realize that there is a graph in this life i have come out of my morning face and i'm not yet prepared so i'm catching up i really appreciate if you don't become a distraction to me right now all of a sudden let me tell you what will happen heavy persecution which is a sign that you are doing something right because your status quo the people in your environment are now uncomfortable with you they will interpret your transformation as pride but give them time they will go and give you chance for the real ones to come you are switching realms are we together all of a sudden you used to be lazy and carnal when we're in rome behave like romans do. when we are broke we call any military officer but the word of god is coming nevertheless the foundation of the lord standed sure are we together yeah. now it becomes a conviction and your friends say kai are we not traveling to abuja this weekend and say no it's over i'm over with this life i made up my mind that i want to be a woman of virtue and excellence and they say i bet you after everybody has left with you and then you tell them the bible says remember not the former things nor consider the things of old i may have lived in ignorance but now that i know i'm determined then he calls you and you pick your call and say sir i appreciate you but something has been happening in my life recently don't say i won't come like before no explain why you will never go again so that he will know that you are not confused it's a decision i've made your life is changing you used to be arrogant and and very rude to elderly people but then you are learning right now that there is something called the law of honor 
all of a sudden you step down and you see your mother and you greet she's carrying something and you say mama let me help you say ah, i thought you were a pastor you say no that's why i'm carrying this because i'm a pastor you say, i thought pastors are big men you say no i have learned that leaders are servants not bosses you lead by servanthood something is changing if this is not happening to you you are wasting your time in koinonia what can you see in your life has the spirit of excellence come upon you have you started washing the plates as soon as you finish eating or is still there one week like before there's no excellence are we together now yes have you started paying attention to details help me sir do you have a good notebook where you can document your persuasion or you still have pieces of papers you move around and chuck in your pocket when you go to churches do you sit down and listen to the man of god with your heart open disregarding the imperfections and looking for jesus in that church or do you still go and you say this man of god is not like my church this guy cannot even speak english very well our apostle used to wear suit what is this guy wearing like this so you don't listen have you dropped that attitude of cynicism where it's no longer my church or koinonia or kingdom if this is not happening to you you are not changing has your prayer life improved by revelation not by guilt not by guilt where Joshua Selman preached and said, if you are not praying three hours, you are not a Christian. And he just say, ah, God, no, let's do it. You put a alarm clock and you can't wait. The moment it does, bam, you say, go, oh God, that's all, I'm, I'm done. No. But by revelation, he spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray. Because by revelation, you have been given insight of what your prayer life does. So on Tuesday, while you are lazy, you would still come to the prayer department four o'clock you are on your way to rema why because i must build my spirit is it comfortable no it's not about comfort every man who strives for mastery must strive lawfully lawfully according to the rules my spiritual development requires fasting do i want to fast no but i do it out of love for christ and the discipline that will build me you are growing Whereas you would have been the one before who will argue with anybody. People are persecuting you and you are trying to explain. No, it's not like that. It's really, did I shout at you? Am I not a nice person? Now you have learned that only those behind you backbite. Those in front cannot backbite because they are focusing and moving forward. And so you use those criticisms as stepping stones, not stumbling blocks. You have grown. Your self-worth has been so stable with the word of God you may not have all the money in your pocket but nobody can preach you into thinking inferior and it's not about saying I'm not this there is a settled confidence I am wonderfully and fearfully made are we together different dimensions of the king all of a sudden you start committing yourself to tithe you start your tithing and the first one month is as if you are going to die you are hungry you are looking at that envelope you can eat it and nobody will know and ask god for forgiveness after after squandering the tight but you tell yourself i'm no longer going to be a child i must grow and you are moving you are not seeing results but you know that as surely when a farmer plants he must reap you know it will come my altar is calling you oh god my altar is calling you oh god my secret place is calling you oh god my heart is calling you Hallelujah. whereas you were a man of god your concept of ministry is to brag around looking for titles are we together hoping from one church to another hoping from the house of one rich member to the other bringing all kinds of prophecy are we together now 
arranging all kinds of people buy suit for me buy shoe for me my birthday is coming next year buy shoe for me all of a sudden you hear the word that ministry is not done that way ministry is about service with thorough integrity the willingness to be word compliant at any cost all of a sudden you find out wow whereas i'm doing ministry today and then occasionally i can go and watch pornography although i'm doing ministry occasionally i can go and drink i can watch this and you are finding out look I, it's time for me to be a true man of god it's time for me to be genuine it's time for me to be true are we together now and you go on a retreat i'm attacking the spirit of pornography i'm attacking the spirit of masturbation I'm attacking the spirit of immorality and drunkenness. These are things that nobody may know yet. But it's still at work. And God is giving you opportunity. And you go before his presence. Kabarakata. I'm going far. God, this thing must die. We wait on you. Lord, we wait on you. We wait on you. Lord, we wait on you. We wait on you. Lord, we wait on you. I wait on you. Lord, I wait on you. Sing it just one more time. We wait on you. are we together so there is a mindset you have as a lady you come before god but there is a mindset you have you are born again but there is a mindset of desperation i can do anything for a man i can do anything for a rich man then all of a sudden you start receiving the word that there ought to be only one person who your life and allegiance should be pledged to jesus christ the son of god and now that revelation is meeting your wrong mindset are we together now oh i thought it was right to have 10 boyfriends 20 girlfriends and then be receiving money from this one when this one is broke this one is just receiving breakthrough i can alternate but now i'm learning do not be deceived god cannot be mocked whatsoever a man so well that he shall reap and you tell yourself it comes to an end i'm ready to settle down is god speaking to us that's the word working in you it's changing it may not be comfortable but all of a sudden you are learning your mother taught you not to listen to any man any man that talks give it back to him that's my daughter that's what they taught you and all of a sudden joshua selman attacks that rubbish and tells you no a meek and a temperate spirit is a woman's original design anything outside that produces a beast wives submit yourselves are we together and then the brothers come with their own mindset to i am the boss and then i teach them husbands love your wives not the way culture taught you as christ loved the church there is a standard it's not given to your personal opinion Your life is changing all of a sudden you turn and your world is changing like day and night you go back and do ministry with integrity no lying no prophesying to anybody and say drop ten thousand naira and i speak a prophecy no all of a sudden it may be popular but you change completely you don't criticize people you don't argue and tear down any man's ministry but you preserve truth as far as your work is concerned Lord, if it means me living in hunger and teaching your truth, I will walk in that integrity. Hallelujah. Whereas you're a man of God who will never pray and prepare your sermons. You just get up and do anything you want to do. All of a sudden, you learn that a minister, ministry is trust from God, supervised by God. All your prayer life is just about give me tea, give me bread. All of a sudden, you take on a a template of a man who has true compassion 
for his members lord bless your people open doors for them and god is watching you are you are keeping your own needs aside and you are praying lord there are barren women in my church give them children not for my name's sake for your name's sake lord that lady there are three ladies in my in my ministry that have hiv that have cancer that have fibroid they are going to die i intercede for them lord i found out that in one week i counseled 18 brothers suffering from masturbation i attacked that spirit that's how to pray that's the heart of a true shepherd they may not see you when you are doing this but let me tell you you see ba this thing we do you can't fake it for too long if you are not doing these things in reality in reality a day will come it will become clear because you'll be tired no human being can pretend forever are we together Hogenedo do 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 Hogenedo Hogenedo Tirido do do Tirido Hogenedo One more time. I'm gonna do. Hallelujah. Is your life changing? Are you becoming relevant to society? Those you are living around, can they look at your life and say, Kai? All of a sudden, promise is a blessing to everybody in this area. Or are you still the same nuisance that people have been having? It must change. Say it must change. I've watched people and I've seen by the grace of God how God has transited their lives. My own life, I look at my life and I wonder and I'm grateful to God for the passion i have i have i have such a hunger for transformation i have no loyalty for error the moment i find out that there is something in my life that is impeding my growth i wave it goodbye forever no matter how long i've been with it i am malleable to change i'm not too arrogant to change i'm not too arrogant to tell god i'm sorry i'm not too arrogant to tell god i can be better is God already speaking to us tonight? Because I want you to change. This is what needs to change. This is what needs to change. Your mindset. I'll get to the teaching shortly. But this is, I'm preparing the ground. This is what I'm supposed to talk about. It, 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 that's where it's all leading to, really. My message tonight is on repentance. And it's not your idea of repentance that was the one message jesus brought repent 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 hallelujah matthew chapter 6 please verse 10. See, listen, Koinonia, hear me. You will thank me for these things you are receiving today. Believe me. When five years from now, ten years from now, you turn back and look at your children and you look at the sufferings and the ignorance of men and the result of their ignorance, you will just get down on your knees. Your remaining lifetime will be spent in tears of gratitude. Lord, how did I escape? He said, how shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation? The darkness will come upon the earth. You can't pray it away. But there is a key that exempts you. And this is it. 6 verse 10. 
thy kingdom come jesus was teaching them how to pray and he says thy kingdom come three words that have governed my life thy kingdom come and he tells us how to bring the kingdom he says thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven hallelujah now please listen very important for you to get this foundation the word kingdom is actually a combination of two words the king's domain the king's domain the king's domain the word kingdom means the domain of a king a kingdom is a sphere of influence a territory where the influence and the culture of a king is permitted to find expression without restraint that's a kingdom any sphere any territory where the influence and the culture of a king is permitted to find expression without restraint it's called a kingdom the domain of a king please listen i'll just connect what i've said so far with the teaching tonight and then we'll pray because i want us to be kingdom people there are many gospels that we preach and there are many gospels seven of them the bible teaches but the gospel jesus brought to the church is the gospel of the kingdom a revelation of the influence of christ the king upon a territory and jesus is teaching them how to connect to the heart of the father he says when you pray let it be that your desire should be lord your kingdom your influence the same way it is in heaven you know why heaven is the way it is because the kingdom of god the kingdom has been established the rule the reign the culture the way of life the modus operandi of god heaven is governed only by his ideas no suggestion no addition no improvement the wisdom of god is the map the compass that governs the activities in heaven are we together now so heaven is the way it is the arrangement of the 20 and 4 elders the streets of gold right there are 12 things the bible reveals to us about heaven one of them is the appearance of the throne room are we together now the 20 and 4 elders the angels the seven lampstands christ being in the midst of the lampstand the voices in heaven all kinds of arrangements the center of heaven is the throne room that's where life emanates that's where the rod of his justice that's where the rod of leadership proceeds from no rebellion the angels that rebelled were casted down to the earth perfect justice yet perfect love and so when you watch the inhabitants in heaven they don't guess how to live there is order the 20 and 4 elders know when to bow one doesn't just say kai i'm tired of waiting i remove my crown after all all of us will remove our crown there is excellence are we together the atmosphere of heaven is unrestrained there is no loyalty to two people no possibility of rebellion christ the center of heaven so there's no lack why because the ideas of God who is the fountain of wisdom is what permeates that environment are we together there is no hate they don't do capitalism they don't do democracy all your Karl Marx kinds of leadership and governance they don't do it there's nothing called the masses in heaven are we together there's no such thing as that no political parties no lack no ownership in heaven only access ownership is a sign of rebellion in heaven nobody owns anything the citizens of heaven only have access are we together now jesus is saying if you want your life to look like heaven listen he says pray lord your influence let it come 
to my life let it come to this system transfer everything that makes heaven heaven to find expression here and this is the secret he says his influence will find expression when his will everybody say will change that word will to idea change that word will to word his word change that word will to convictions change that word will to ideologies when your ideologies are executed in the earth your influence will come when my life permits your ideas then your kingdom can find expression in my life is god speaking to us tonight so the level to which i achieve personal excellence in every area of my life is the degree to which i relinquish my idea about life and i embrace that of heaven it is foolish for me to come from my culture right i come from a culture of warriors and warriors are arrogant people because they are always fighting animals and fighting enemies are we together now many of us come from different cultures now we come to god and god is saying i want my kingdom to come into your life this lack this pain your marriage is not working because all of you are bringing cultural ideas i'm from Ibrom. he's from lagos lagos and Ibrom is clashing what is he producing disaster and God is saying, both of you, leave it, embrace my ideas. Are we together now? Now, it's difficult because we hold on to the things we've known. It defines our sense of relevance. But God is saying, if you let it go, make my will be done. My ideas, my concepts. Then you will find out that your life will change. It no longer will be an issue of Igbo or Hausa or yoruba or south south right or middle belt no another culture has superimposed the limitation of your culture your state of origin notwithstanding so we can come from different regions but the operation of the kingdom within us is the same because we have relinquished our culture and embraced the culture of the kingdom please listen this is very important when we talk about the word of god that's what was translated there will is from the same greek word the root word is logos and logos means the thoughts of a man the thoughts what a man is thinking his ideas that cries out for execution so when you call jesus the living word you're actually calling him the living logos means that the he is the manifestation of the thoughts of the father whatever the father was thinking jesus was executing are we together that was what made him a perfect son so now he tells you embrace my ideas about finances embrace my idea about the anointing you don't get the anointing by going to a stream and going to go and bath we're watching a program in the afternoon how that a man went to the stream to look for money and he was walking on water physically and then a spirit came out of the river and gave him a ring that he wore for money those are stupid ideas perverted ideas but there is a way there is a way that god can give a man are we together when you come into christ when you come into the kingdom the assignment for you is in one word and it's called repent repentance repentance is the journey that makes men like christ repentance has nothing to do necessarily with sin like i'm a i'm a sinner the word repent is a word that is a process it's not just an act that happens in one minute repentance is a journey repentance is a process Matthew chapter 4 verse 17 John began to herald that message and when Jesus came Matthew 4 verse 17 he says from that time on please read Jesus began to preach 
What was his message? What was his message? Repent. Why should you repent? For the influence of heaven is within your reach right now. Change. I have come with the keys to give you. The word at hand means is within your grasp. You have been praying and saying, Lord, bring your ideas to us. Now I have come as a representation of the government you so desire. Now, repent. Because the kingdom, it wasn't just an issue of heaven or hell. Repent. For the kingdom of heaven, the influence of the Father, the life that makes heaven heaven is embodied in a person and he has come to you. So the first step to repentance is accepting the ministry of the one who is proposing it. That's Jesus. But that's not the last step. It is only the first step. The first step to repentance is an acknowledgement that you are lost outside of him and outside of his ways. The Bible says we all like sheep, right? We all like sheep have gone astray. He said every one of us have gone his own ways. Like a sheep without a shepherd. Wasting my life away with all kinds of ideas. Now he comes to me. And he says Joshua Selman. Repent. So I come to him. The first step. Lord Jesus. I relinquish ownership over my life. I have tried. And I've done everything I know to do. I've lived my life with my own ideas. But I hand over my life to you. Right? From beginning to the end. It will always be. Always be you Jesus. So I answer what you call an altar call. And a man of God guides me through a prayer of faith. Right? And I accept his substitutionary sacrifice. And let me tell you what happens to many of us. After service, you just look pious and you carry your Bible. And then you don't know what else. No. That is the beginning of the journey to true transformation. Repentance is the key to transformation. You don't repent by saying, I repent. You repent by embracing new ideas. That's the true character of repentance. Repentance means I have seen another light. I have seen another paradigm. I've seen another path that is greater than what my father taught me. Greater than what my mother taught me. Greater than what ABU taught me. Greater than what Nigeria taught me. Greater than what Africa taught me. And I am willing to follow. The language of repentance is follow me. Follow me and I will make you. Pastor Alpha, follow me. Carry your ministry along. Carry your wife along. Carry your son along. I will make you. Don't come made. You, you cannot be made. I will make you. The mission is trust me enough. Even when you don't understand what I'm doing. Believe that my thoughts towards you are thoughts of good and not of evil. Right? I will go. I will go. Wherever you lead me. I will go. Yes, Lord. I will go. I will go. Wherever you lead me. So, he leads you to a path that you have never followed before. And he says, everybody follows this road. But this is where I'm taking you to. You, you've never passed it before. But you trust him. You trust him. Lord, I have never sown a seed before in my life. But now you are teaching me this is the key to prosperity. I trust you. I've lived my entire life in fornication. I don't know how to not live in fornication. But I repent. I embrace a new idea. Now see, the way God works, all you need to do is receive. The grace for performance comes from him. You do not have the power. This is the true picture of grace. 
the ability that backs your decision the decision is a product of your willpower but the grace to live in that decision is what is supplied after the decision is made so i don't have any power in myself but i decide i set before you life and death i set before you blessing and cursing choose don't worry about how you will go just choose so you choose lord i choose your way satan hears you causes hear you the backgrounds the foundations of your father's house hear you and god says now that you have chosen the spirit of grace <laughs> is the holy ghost spirit of the living god you're the holy ghost scepter of the king of kings you're the holy ghost seal of the age to come changing everything and sisters you just made a decision Kabbalah Kata. all of a sudden an ability you never had suddenly comes on you how shall these things be seeing that I do not know a man he said the power of the highest you can't stop fornication by yourself you can't stop drinking by yourself yours is to choose I align with you and grace comes upon you all of a sudden power strength capacity you watch the things that once swallowed you and you can nod at it and go back to sleep because you chose we never choose because we say i don't have the power to make it happen god says choose prosperity you say but god i graduated with that class that's not your business just choose 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 and the grace comes and that grace appears unto men and can teach men it can teach men it can teach men how can you walk when you don't know the way of the way it's a part only the holy ghost knows how can you run when you don't know the way of the spirit how can you fly like eagles when you don't know the wind's power and work in you changing everything that's what god is doing tonight swallow your pride tonight come to the school of the spirit that's what he's doing for you don't you know in his arms are the keys to eternal life like he's teaching you a little here a little there soon your day will dawn his hard work in you changing everything hallelujah line upon line precept upon precept you are changing it will not happen in one day the accuser of the brethren will come to you and raise his ugly head to tell you if if the hand of god is upon your life why are you not moving as fast as you should move right and then you keep moving like a seed that is planted you begin to grow and blossom and your life becomes a marvel and a wonder repentance please hear me is the key repentance is the pathway that leads you to transformation the moment you get born again your next assignment is the journey of transformation and it's only done when the word of god is accurately divided the word does not change people the word explained received and understood is what changes people don't you think that you are hearing the word it changes you know when the word of god is explained like i'm teaching now and you are saying wow i never saw it this way i thought it was just about heaven and hell i thought it was just about being a christian i didn't know that that's only the beginning to the journey i now see why i should come for koinonia every week it's a progression of the training are we together now yes it's a progression of the training 
every time they go from strength to strength they go from strength to strength as many as appear before God in Zion they grow from strength to strength it says thou will show us the path of life for in thy light we see light so he exposes you while you are working well now your prayer life is at work now you are praying in tongues right now you are studying the word of god but you find out that there are all kinds of devilish things tying you down you thought they were not there but you are seeing patterns in your life that represent covenants of darkness then another teaching comes teaching you the mystery of true genuine deliverance that can cut you away from your past the same way the red sea divided egypt and israel forever they came out of egypt but egypt could still catch up with them but something happened an encounter that had to do with water and that was the end of it he said these egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever are we together whereas you thought that all there is to life is just to work hard now you are finding out that there is a place for intelligent work there is a place for the favor of god and there is a place for prophecy believe in the lord your god and you shall be established nobody has ever really truly spoken over your life and what you are doing and you say this is the missing link i have studied the books I am a tiger but there is no prophetic word and you get that word and it changes your life brothers and sisters i wish god will open my heart so that you will see how much i crave that every one of us will step into perfection step into this realm of absolute maturity in the spirit a realm where the encumbrances of life have no power over you Thank you see let me tell you something i have lost the ability to be discouraged honestly i know you think it's pride if i tell you i'm discouraged if i tell you i'm frustrated will i be true to you will i be sincere to you from my heart to tell you i'm discouraged because i found a stream of endless supply of grace <laughs> i found my way i found your word and i did eat it it was a joy and rejoicing to my soul it's not just saying i can cram scripture psalm chapter 1 verse 2 psalm chapter 3 verse 4 blah, 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 and then they are clapping whoa, whoa, that's not the word that's memory verse thy word have i hidden like an endangered species it has framed my conviction i cannot think any other way i don't think like a nigerian i don't think like a northerner i think like a citizen of the kingdom because i truly am i'm not pretending it it's the truth there are some things that are no longer realities for me and my job is to take away those things those illusions out of your mind i can't think failure i can't it's not all this confession i can't think I'm, i i mean it seriously i mean it where will all the revelations of the mysteries of the kingdom run to when i'm thinking failure how will it happen don't say ah you are lucky god no 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 take everything i have today give me time it will come back i found the key i found the key they know not neither will they understand he said they grow up in darkness and so the earth is out of course it is not about the government it is not about satan it is not about witches and wizards it is about disalignment it is about rebellion it is about pride and lack of meekness it is about inconsistency hallelujah I challenge you in this place there is a realm a path which no fowl has seen job said the whelps of the lion has not gotten there 
by the grace of God and all honor to the glory of God this great ministry God is building with his own hands is being built by wisdom it's not built by luck it's not built by guess did you know while I was seated here and the worship team were ministering some of you would have noticed I was in an open vision almost all through the worship time and I was seeing the tent that's the next level of the ministry I was seeing the tent I was seeing everything and I was watching some of the same people some I didn't see them somewhere they're still doing worship the sound everything and I was just in that atmosphere it's not like I was watching I was there so how can I now get up and lie to you that I'm discouraged that's what I'm trying to tell you it will be a lie you see what do you know that gives you confidence yay though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death he says I fear no evil why for thou art with me then he says thy rod and thy staff they comfort me they comfort me koinonia I bring you a word tonight your project of transformation must be taken seriously the same way you put a building project you must transform it there is almost no koinonia message that is not in my system as those who are close to me I listen to it all the time my phone is full of messages I'm listening I don't trust my mistakes I don't trust my errors I have God has helped me but I'm still a long way to go compared to where I'm coming from and compared to where he's taking me thank God but compared to where Christ is taking me and taking this ministry we are only one step out of the cave so while on one side I can pat my shoulders and say well done transformation continues I don't have time for distraction I don't listen to nonsense not rubbish gist not rubbish movies not rubbish shows I don't have that time there is an urgency there is a generation depending upon my stability in the spirit are you ready to give yourself that kind of audience hallelujah transformation tomorrow we are traveling we're in Joss again for a meeting all through from there to Mina we're traveling everywhere all of those people are waiting to receive am I just going to keep giving them what I gave them last year two years ago or am I going to come with something fresh from the throne you don't receive from God the way you enter a fast food no you must pay attention allow his word change you if you study your Bible just for preaching you will not be an epistle of your message it will be clear with time that your message has not become a persuasion God is my witness I believe this I will die believing it it is the principle upon which I run my life it is it has nothing to do with me being spiritual my entire life runs on this I don't argue with it it is the template for my life I'm not just a Christian because I'm going to heaven I'm not just a Christian because I have ministry responsibilities this word is a lamp to my feet I use it like a torchlight taking myself out of darkness bringing myself to the way of light that's what has brought the anointing that's why I respect the Holy Spirit so much you hear me talk a lot about him I'm not copying men of God I'm not copying Benny Hinn or Catherine Kuhlman he has revealed himself to me he's the fountain of wisdom he will give you wisdom that is bigger than your age he will give you wisdom that is bigger than your background I tell you your weaknesses are swallowed up in his presence every limitation becomes uh, irrelevant when you stand with his wisdom now you see the trouble is you may not manifest what is showing you all at once so chances are that people will not take you seriously but give him time give him time give my God time give my God time I know this God there is no one like this God believe me I know what I'm saying there is no one like my God I 
love your ways and I love your word. There is no one like my God. There is no one like my God. There is no one like my God. <laughs> I tell you, sometimes I feel like busting, tearing myself into pieces. Do you know why? Because I have seen God's system of justice. My background may not be fair. My parents may not have been fair on me. Are we together? Situations and circumstances may not be fair. But the word of God is a neutralizer. It vetoes everything. And it balances your life. I pray that you will believe what I'm saying. I pray that you will have this passion and change your life and laugh at your mountains not pray about them laugh at them they are a mirage while we look at the things I'm telling you every mountain in your life trust me Koinonia I know what I'm saying it's a mirage it's a mirage it's a mirage when David stood before Goliath I have a he said who is this uncircumcised not who is this mighty man he never called goliath a mighty man he said who is this uncircumcised philistine he said god who delivered me from the lion and the bear this day not tomorrow will give me your head he said i will throw you down i will use your own sword and i will give your head to the birds there is something you can see in the secret place see let me tell you something when you grow in confidence of the word there are some things you no longer will pray about believe me because sometimes your prayer is just a succor to manage your fears it becomes unnecessary you just lie down and sleep the boat was about capsizing Jesus was sleeping how could he die the resurrection and the life how could he die there was no possibility of death in him the disciples could die when he got up he looked at the storm and he said shalom be still koinonia i want your life to bear fruit please hear me i want your life to bear fruit many have walked this path they made mistakes they never got there but I'm glad to tell you there are some people who walked and went there. Though we are few, we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before. And this is the song we'll be singing forever. Holy is the Lord. Listen. Though we are few, but not many, we're surrounded by many who have crossed that way. You are not the first to cross the river from lack to prosperity. You are not the first to be mightily used by God. The Bible is full of ordinary men. They have crossed that river and they left their footprints. He said, ask for the ancient paths. Don't guess. Millionaires have come and gone. There are billionaires that lost money and became beggars and rose back to become billionaires. They left their footprints. There are men of God who have lost members and came back to that status. There are men who have lost anointings and come back. There is nothing you want that somebody has not done before. Though we are few, we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before one more time though we are few we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river listen the many may not come from your family in your family nobody has crossed that river but there are still those who have crossed it are you hearing what i'm saying anybody that tells you god cannot use a young man though we are few 
You're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before. And this is the song you'll be singing for when you overcome. Holy is the Lord. When all the pain is over. Holy is When you finally break through to that place of destiny. They may mock you now, but continue with the word of God. They may not understand, but I'm telling you, you will have the last laugh. Trust me. Years ago, I was lying down on a mattress on the ground and I said, Lord, I want to affect my generation. I want to change lives. I don't want to live like the people I've seen in my family and my background. I want to be different. And the Lord told me something. It was a secret. He said, son, if you will let men see me, there is nothing I will not give you. I have followed him closely. And today, in a measure, I have seen his faithfulness. He doesn't lie. We are just too impatient to wait for his word to come to pass. Believe me. Brothers and sisters, there are those who God has given marital breakthrough. You are not the first. There are people who have gotten access to the mysteries of the kingdom. Don't act like you are the first. It has happened before. William Seymour, Alexander Doway, Catherine Kuhlman, Emphy McPherson. They are, they are the clouds of witness. Great men in Nigeria, Babalola, Archbishop Benson, Idahosa. There are so many. There are fathers of faith who are alive. Brothers and sisters, believe me, they crossed that river. Some of them went through all kinds of obstacles and they crossed it. He will bless you. Just pay attention. If you do this, I'm telling you, your life will change like night and day. Only praise can take you higher to the place where you can see the Father face to face. Oh, my life will never be small. See one more time. Hey, only praise can take me higher. There are very successful people in this place listen you may see everybody here most people here are young people make no mistakes there are millionaires in this place not by prophecy i mean people now here and now not it will happen no there are people who are very anointed but we all bring ourselves here and humble ourselves to listen to the word you know why because god is changing people there are people seated inside outside doctors professors intelligent people but they have come your life will never be the same so when someone looks at you and says you are not growing spiritually don't even pray about it just leave the person time is a revealer time is a revealer time is a revealer some of you would not have believed what i'm telling you now if i told you 10 years ago Ten years to come i'll still be saying what i'm saying but it will come with more results now and you will listen the bible says arise shine for your light is come he told us this is our year of multiplied grace and influence it's not a cliche ah when i say get up when I say move, when I say act, that's what I do. When I say get up, I'm not saying stand up. I'm saying it's time to shake that dust and stand up. Arise and shine, for your light is come. Shake mediocrity, shake frustration, shake yesterday and his pain. 
and say no i saw in my visions that anointing i must step into that realm i saw myself my shadow lifting wheelchairs not headaches no i'm a city not a village on a hill i'm on my way rising i may not have all the evidences now but give me time arise he spoke unto me and the word picked me up and set me upon my feet when he says get up when he says move when he says run when he says fly hey only place can take me higher to the place where i can see the father help me face to face Turn to three or four people and prophesy to them. Tell them I'm a wonder about to manifest. I'm not motivating you, honestly speaking. Tell them I'm a wonder. I'm a wonder. I may have a faulty background, but there is an anointing. 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 Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Listen. Please look up everybody. The worst thing you can do to yourself is to reject the word of God. The worst thing you can do to yourself is to ignore teachings. Get a notebook. 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 Write. Have personal times of teaching, not just devotion. Every day with Jesus, five minutes. You are reciting the prayers you are running. You don't grow that way. Give God time. And He will give you a life of victory. Give God time. He will give you a life that is enviable. Give God time. He will turn you into Beulah and Hephzibah. Give God time. He will make you a bank of the anointing. Prayer point number one. Lord, I give you time. I'm tired of giving you my remaining time. When I waste my time doing other things. Please pray. Lift your voice. Going on and pray. Lord, I give you time. I give you time. I give your word time. Pray. Lord, we give you time. We give you time in Koinonia. Time to make us. Time to break us. Time to mold us. Time to build us. Time to perfect us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd like you to pray. And say, Lord, in any way I have been negligent and nonchalant about the ministry of strategic transformation, I repent and I receive grace. Lift your voice and pray. If Friday is your only time of transformation, you are not growing enough. Hallelujah. Roma 
Romans chapter 12. Let's establish it. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. And then Philippians chapter 2 from verse 5, please. We're establishing the last prayer point. Let's read it together. One, two, read. It's projected. And be not conformed to this. The word world is the Greek word aeon. The thinking pattern that comes with this age. Read on. But be ye transformed. How? By the renewing of your mentality, your mentality, your perceptions. Then it says that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. The renewing of your mind. Repentance. The pathway that leads to transformation. Dropping old ideas to pick up the new. That are consistent with heaven's way of doing things. Philippians chapter 2 please from verse 5. Let's read together. One to read. Stop. The word let is the word permit. Permit this mindset. This mentality. To be in you. Which was also in Christ Jesus. He had an understanding. There was a way he interpreted life that made him victorious let this mind be in you which was also in christ jesus let's look at philippians chapter 4 please last verse philippians chapter 4 verse 8 actually 7 to 9 but let's see let's just focus on 8 okay let's let's read from 7 down to 9 one to read and the peace of god which surpasses all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through christ jesus verse 8 finally joshua selman whatsoever things are true whatsoever things are honest whatsoever things are just whatsoever things are pure whatsoever things are lovely whatsoever things are of good report if there be any virtue moral excellence if there be any praise think 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 on these things not failure not defeat not i am a nobody not it's not for people like us no think on these things as a pastor think on pastoring a flourishing ministry let people tell you ah it's not about crowd no problem may god bless you with your revelation but for me god so loved the world he sent me not to go and pastor three or four people. He sent me to influence a generation. Hallelujah. The last prayer point. Father, walk on my mentality. Something in my mind is keeping me poor. Something is keeping me not anointed. Something is keeping me out of revelation. Lift your voice. Something I do not know about excellence is responsible for mediocrity something i do not know about the anointing is responsible for lack of testimonies in my church something i do not know about leadership is frustrating me in my organization something i do not know about the economic system of the kingdom is keeping me poor change my mentality sisters pray something about my mentality is stopping my husband from coming to me lord change it something about my mentality is stopping my wife from coming to me something about my mentality is stopping good friends destiny help us from coming into my life show me oh god and change it hallelujah please say this after me as loud as you can say in the name of jesus i declare that i am not a rebel to the ways of god i declare that i'm not rebellious 
to the teachings of the kingdom i declare that my background my past my culture my failures will not affect god's dream for my life god's plan for my life god's expectation for me in spite of my past i am still anointed in spite of my limitation god's grace is upon my life i declare that i'm not inferior i'm not second class the wisdom of god the favor of god the anointing of the holy ghost is at work in me my life is a testimony of the power of god i declare that i do not resent excellence i embrace it i honor those who execute it i honor those who teach it i declare that my life becomes excellent by choice i declare that i will not resent the anointing i will not resent the supernatural i will not criticize those working in it i embrace their ministry i honor them and i receive of that grace say in the name of jesus i do not criticize wealthy people i do not have a resentment for wealth and prosperity i believe it and i honor those who have it and i declare that it must show up in my life say in the name of jesus i honor those with the spirit of revelation i receive of their ministry i do not criticize them and that grace comes upon me say in the name of jesus my life is supernatural my results are exponential say in the name of jesus my words carry power my words carry grace the fragrance of favor is upon me say it again the fragrance of favor is upon me everywhere i speak it has an effect in the ears of the listeners my life is a plus to everyone around me my life is an advantage to my territory i declare over my past over my background i'm born with you never to return to you i set my face forward following the holy ghost i'm being obedient to the word my destiny is calling and i must get there lift your voice and turn it into a prayer my destiny is calling I must get there. My destiny is calling. My destiny is calling. No room for the past. No room for old ideas. I choose to change. I choose to change. Hallelujah. One more confession. Say in the name of Jesus. I choose a balanced spiritual life say it again in the name of Jesus I choose a balanced spiritual life where I excel in all things spiritually in the supernatural in my finances in my family intellectually you see you must be balanced standing on one side doing well financially 
with a terrible prayer life is an imbalance being anointed and being broke is an imbalance being a christian and not rising to a position of influence is an imbalance desire influence is not a cause is how the ideas of the kingdom are enforced in a territory the key to kingdom advancement is influence where you gain a platform where you can compel men to buy into your thinking it's called influence say in the name of jesus i increase in every area spiritually financially mentally in my body in relationships i declare that i have supernatural influence this year and in this season i am a leader everywhere i go an uncommon leader i set the pace i don't join the crowd i don't follow the crowd i don't do as they do i don't say as they say i set the pace in the name of jesus christ i sincerely pray for you from the depth of my heart the grace that has made men uncommon that has distinguished men in their territories the grace that has given men keys of supernatural indomitable influence firm grabs on territories there is a grace that can give a man firm grasp of a territory may that grace come upon your life in the name of jesus christ the grace for territorial influence the capacity to be a voice over a territory regardless of criticisms regardless of limitations there is such a grace may it come upon you i speak it upon you the best setter grace the groundbreaker grace the new horizon grace the grace that obstructs status quo may that grace come upon you the courage to be different the courage to be different the grace to lead to set the pace let it come upon you the fear of being different the fear of being controversial i take it out of your life forever the spirit of dishonor and resentment to people who have results the spirit of cynicism and castigation of what you may secretly admire but publicly castigate i command that spirit to live your life forever father i pray for koinonia this is why you anointed us you are raising men of tremendous influence and i pray in the name of jesus that by the anointing of the holy spirit and through tonight's service someone's life will become dramatically influential go and possess the gates of your enemies you will suck from kings in the name of jesus christ you will accomplish feats that you have never done that language called impossible is eroded from your life forever. Hallelujah. Let me show you how passionate Jesus is in us producing results. John 15. We'll read from verse 5 verse 5 down to 8 listen this is what jesus is saying i am the vine who is the vine who is the vine 
but he says ye are the i've taught again the fruits come from the you are the fruit bearing part of me are we together when you come to a tree and you don't find root, um, um, fruit you don't start insulting the root you look at the branch that's the obvious part now the branch depends on the fine however the branch is the fruit bearing part it displays the beauty and the strength of the root and jesus says i am the vine the invisible equation the invisible part and then he says you are the branches listen he that abided in me and i in him what will happen please read on the same person will do what bear how much much fruit then he says for without me ye can do nothing we're reading to verse 8 he says if a man abide not in me he is cast forth as a branch and is withered and men gather them and cast them into the fire and they are burned seven if ye abide in me uh -huh, and my words abide in you ye shall ask what ye will and it shall be done unto you read verse 8 if you are a christian one two read hearing i want you to change bear much fruit with produce results ready let's read it now hearing is my father glorified that ye produce results so hold on hold on don't rush so by producing results you testify that everything i said in the word you make men believe me when your life produces result so if 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 your life does not produce result men have a right to doubt me are we together because you are the other part of god remember he's the head and you are the body but this is a mystery you don't see that head but the body is a reflection of the quality of the head i always give an, 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 an analogy with with a jimmy's uh, uh, child the daughter every time she comes you see her well dressed happy he takes care of her um he loves her but much more than that for his name's sake are we together if you see the daughter running around no shoes no nothing you look at him and look at his wife and say why are you people irresponsible nobody blames a child for being a child they blame the parents for not being good parents and so god is saying my testament is under pressure on earth and i am depending on the fruits that you produce when you are healed then that word jehovah rapha now becomes proven in the lives of men nobody can no longer say god is not a good god god wants you to produce results you have to understand this it's not something you have to coerce him he wants it for his name's sake it is in his interest praise the lord when i hear that anyone who is part of this ministry is doing well in any area i am happy i feel very proud of them i'm very very happy if you're not doing well i'm there for you but if you're doing well i'm proud of you i'm still proud of you even if you're not doing well but you should do well you have to do well are we together yeah hearing is my father glorified give it to us again that you bear much fruit results you know many people say results don't matter it's a joke what else is the is the yardstick if results don't matter what else don't you know that even loving god and knowing god is results right the dear lady shared a testimony of a brother who was drinking and smoking anything available and now all of a sudden the guy is madly in love with god that's transformation that's results if he goes back to his friends and they say can you taste it as usual say no 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 i'm a changed person it's not the issue of temptation i am changed transformed by a reality are we together when people who have concluded about you and said sam you will never rise and all of a sudden you rise like an edifice and they say everybody from your village does not rise and all of a sudden you rise pastor alpha ah you won't go anywhere oh. listen do you know i love the way god is he will allow your enemies to finish talking then he'll say let's start proving them wrong one by one 
by one by one that's what god is doing to someone who has carried his big mouth to talk against your god in this year of triumph god will surprise them do you know listen there are people who scorn at believers happily every time they see people loving god they sit down and discuss them and to a point that some of you are embarrassed your phone rings it's a christian ringtone you you, you off it quickly because you you don't want to shame this god who is disappointing you my god the bible says when the lord turned again the captivity of zion we were like what damn it will be like a dream he will say no 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 which promise which promise are you talking about they said the one you know he said no no you are you are joking because people stratify us and keep us at a level and don't want us to rise so that their prophecy will be self-fulfilling but then when the god of heaven is ready to pick people up you know i was blessed by the testimony of a gentleman i don't know if he's here the guy in kogi that got a job what a blessed testimony all of a sudden god just changed his story look at the lady that god healed of hiv i know some of you think it's a lie this is what we are trying to destroy because if how else do you want to even carry the healing anointing if you are still calculating the physics behind the healing of whatever how did a and b become c you are not a christian because the bible said my sheep hear my voice the voice of another they will not hear this is what makes people to carry news all around thinking every man of god is faking miracles because according to their understanding issue they will not directly come and say we don't believe it but the miracle will happen right before their eyes and they say no 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 it, let's let's verify when the devil afflicts you you don't verify it at once you believe it people come and say satan spoke to me he said go and kill yourself why didn't you call us for verification but when god speaks now people you know it just tells you the mindset of people how much people do not believe god please tonight be a believer be a believer don't just stand up don't just lift up hands to receive as though um let's see if god will no god will change your story and beat you beyond your imagination hallelujah one of the things god told me will happen tonight is a dramatic outpouring of the mantle of favor i've been praying do you know listen do you know i, I don't share too much of my personal experiences but i prayed for one year for the ministry of the gift of men one year one year lord send strategic people to my life koinonia is blessed to have men look we are going to pray for the gift of men you hear me say this thing all the time if a man does not show up in your life you are in trouble you are in trouble or if the wrong person shows up it's still the same thing as as breakthrough not coming because it will not move your life forward one man showing up in your life can say david Dam, come i i just feel like blessing you you sang a song and i heard and i want to bless you what does it take to produce your album oh sir to produce one song in lagos is two hundred and fifty thousand. you say okay how many tracks do you have 10 and then you are there thinking the man is like you and he's listening to you when you finish he now says this is a check of four million naira please when you do everything let me know and then you leave the man and say so what is the catch he said there is no catch when it is favor there is no catch god will just surprise you and leave you like that somebody will just build a house it's called prepared blessings see if you don't believe in what i'm telling you you can go home honestly because this is what we are going to deal with tonight triumph thanks be to god who causes us always 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 to triumph always to triumph that you come for koinonia empty-handed and as soon as the service is over someone walks to you and say i don't know you but god sent me into your life to say from now till september every month i should be giving you twenty thousand. you don't believe it can happen i hear you are five in your family and your dad is dead your mom is dead from today i become a father in this family simple for starters move out of this place into a two-bedroom flat look let me tell you something 
it's called quantum leap i'm trusting that god will take us into this dimension david you will do a little experiment eh you will take three steps and then you will jump forward like a frog ready now watch let me show you the difference between progress and a quantum leap are you ready this is progress two three now jump this is a quantum leap i know it's a little analogy but see if you if there is no provision like this your lifetime is too small for you to be successful at the rate humans move you will never build a house till you die at the rate your salary is being paid you will never do anything useful at the rate church services are held you will never know god with the amount of the sermons you need a quantum leap i have witnessed it in my life many people here are witnesses of it where god will just all of a sudden change somebody's story i tell you i feel the anointing as i'm saying this this is what many of us need tonight a quantum leap this issue of moving here and there okay thank god you are now employed you are earning forty thousand. let's be sincere let's be sincere in the name of jesus christ who died and rose again in how many years will forty thousand build a house for you now i know many people say it does not matter it matters to any responsible person how much does it take to marry forty thousand the auditorium is how much how much does it take to a child's school fees a child's school fees right now a child who cannot talk the school fees is hundred hundred and something thousand to just teach them how to play and you plan to have five you better listen to what i'm telling you this is why people are, are depressed depressed someone is driving and talking to himself till he dies till he dies because of depression we need a quantum leap Where the grace of God comes upon your life, divine acceleration, triumph, triumph, shaka pataya, triumph by the Spirit. There are ministries that need quantum leaps. If all you do is to invite members through posters, let me tell you the truth get set for empty pews. Please help those under the anointing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? if all you want to do in life is to move like men men i'm ready more than ever let me tell you it's like a flight i've been having an interesting experience with the holy spirit in the last two three weeks my goodness is is a is is a preparation for a quantum leap this man you see has gone no I'm, I'm i'm only saying you better believe god than arise don't let anybody tell you don't listen to him run away from them they won't help you when you are in trouble You'll be surprised to see how the vicissitudes of life will distract you. All these problems we are solving is to give us space to pursue our assignment. Not to build a house for building's sake. Not to buy a car for buying a car's sake. Not to eat well for whatever it is. So that if you decide to lock yourself in your house to worship God for 24 hours, nobody will call you and say, why are you worshiping God? You can't be in church and someone calls you and says you better come and on the machine on which machine you move mountains you cause walls to fall and with your power you perform miracles there is nothing that's impossible and we're standing here only because for you move mountains you cause walls to soar and with your power you perform miracles there is nothing that's impossible that we stand in here only because you can listen Brothers, let me talk to you. Do you know right now? Please come. When you see a gentleman like this, do you know if this gentleman is successful, many elders will ask him, what are you doing? In other words, how come your life is this fast? 
society has made people's growth rate so slow if you buy a car at 45 they say wow wonderful you are responsible but you buy a car at 22 and see people say you're a witch if they see a young man succeed you see everybody saying uh -uh, at this life two plus two it doesn't add up god wants to accelerate the kingdom the coming of jesus is near there is a lot we must do for the kingdom listen you can't spend your life looking for money it's a cost it's a cost it's a cost to spend your life looking for what to eat and what to drink you will never serve god that way pray eight hours when you are hungry you are joking you may endure but your children will not endure listen hold on please i want you to pay attention to what i'm telling you you see me preaching from my heart otherwise we'll keep playing games and at the end many christians will backslide pastor jakes they will leave god how many believers do you know who are not standing again because the reality of life we said this thing many years people insulted us and said we're noisemakers those people today some of them are not born again they are not even in christ again they've gotten into all kinds of things survival is a cause you should resolve that issue and spend your life serving god if you are a brother here when i say pray please pray pray the sisters can join but brothers you must pray you shouldn't stand and just be leave any man of god thing and cry listen there are some of you as you are listening to me right now there are seven siblings or six who are waiting for you to take care of them you have your own mother you have your own father and I, how are you going to live that's the cause of depression and then god calls you into ministry no job you want to marry you want to move forward you, you must be a joker you must access another mystery brothers and sisters you must trust god for a quantum leap tonight there is a grace there is a grace the name is a grace there is an unction that helps men and expedites their process in life the climate is too harsh for an average young man the probability for establishment is is almost like passing through the eye of a needle the factors are too many and we're standing here only because you and we're standing here only because you made a way, made a way. When our backs were against the wall, and it looked as if it was over, you made a way. hallelujah there are people here listen home and abroad their entire families are earning two hundred thousand. but every week they are doing physiotherapy and chemotherapy for someone i heard of a woman seventy thousand naira every week god is my witness they spend on is it physiotherapy or chemotherapy or something like that and there is no guarantee the person you see how the devil works until all your money finishes then the person will now die peacefully and leave you with trouble how many of you right now nobody to help you in your life lift your voice in one minute and cry cry for the help of god Koinonia, pray, pray. Shabakato sobara balaba. Zakata paroko to sopreketi. Shegete pereko sopra na balaba balaba. Don't know how, but you did it. Lord, I cry. Hear me, O oh God. My life must make progress. 
progress. My life must make progress. Outside are you praying? My life must make progress. My life must make progress. Hallelujah. 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 Prayer point number two. Listen. Listen. I want us to break out of cycles tonight. Are we together? I'm going to minister to you, but there are people here. You are seeing the patterns of your families reproducing themselves in your life. Nobody rises beyond the level. Go to school or not. It's a pattern you must break. Don't watch it happen and say it's all right. Nothing solves itself by itself. You must engage it with faith. Lord, this poverty thing, I've seen it in my family. We are not lazy people, but I'm seeing it come. This lack of being serious with God, lift your voice and break every cycle. Lift your voice and command, exempt yourself. Exempt yourself. Exempt yourself. Are you praying? Hallelujah. Listen. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen to me. Listen. Listen. There are people you see who never last in marriage three years no matter what happens maximum three years one nonsense must happen and scatter the marriage are we together there are some of you listen the mysteries that destroy your family is men keep cheating you whether in business whether anytime there is wickedness you are the only one it happens to it's not a coincidence when they want to scam someone you are the first they find when accident is about to happen is when you are crossing the road the car will hit your leg i'd like you to pray and say no more i insist i've been keeping quiet about this but tonight i place a demand lift your voice no more no more no more it shall come to pass in that day that the burden from, shall be taken from off your shoulder the yoke from off your neck and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing hallelujah hallelujah two more prayer points before i begin to minister to us listen hallelujah jesus said satan cometh to me and does not find anything of himself if satan finds what belongs to him in you he's authorized to destroy you we are going to pray and we are going to say lord whatever legal access the devil has over my life and destiny i apply the blood i invoke the mystery of the blood lift your voice and pray legal access i apply the blood are you praying I apply the blood that speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. I apply the blood. I apply the blood. I apply the blood. I apply the blood on my children. I apply the blood. Pray on my husband, on my wife, on my business. 
on my ministry, on my job, I apply the blood. No divination, no witchcraft, no enchantment arising against my life shall prevail. standing keep standing everyone we are going to pray now I tell you I'm angry in my spirit Luke 18 verse 1 please quickly Luke 18 verse 1 and he spake a parable Luke 18 verse 1 and he spake a parable unto them to this end that men ought always to pray and not to faint verse 2 there's something I'm looking for. Saying, there was in a city a judge which feared not God, neither regarded man. Verse 3. And there was a widow in that city. And she came to him saying, avenge me of my adversary. Stop there. God is a God of vengeance. Listen, listen. I know that's the nasty side of God. But the God I serve is not only merciful. God, there are people who don't need mercy, they need vengeance. You don't pray if you don't believe it, but let me tell you something there is a God of vengeance. He said, Let God arise and let all his enemies be scattered. Lift your voice and cry, Lord, avenge. I cry for your vengeance over the works of darkness in my life, my family. Koinonia pray Arise Sokoto Pakaya Righteousness and justice At the foundations of his throne Oh God of vengeance Arise Oh God of vengeance Arise against the wicked Oh God of vengeance Arise Oh God of vengeance Arise against evil doers. Arise against them that seek to feed on the flesh of your people. Hallelujah. Listen. There was a man in the book of Esther called Haman. Have you heard about Haman? That man was conspiring to destroy the agenda of God. Not just the Jews. The agenda of God. The apple of his eyes. And then the Bible says through a lot of activities. When that plot was gotten, the king sent. And he said they should go and hang him. He already built a gallow in advance. In advance we live in a wicked world brothers and sisters let me tell you it's not all about vengeance but there is a dimension of it that is necessary if you must break through the wickedness of men is beyond imagination you are going to pray it again Lord there are powers that have tied down my life and my family arise oh God of vengeance arise oh God of vengeance arise oh God of vengeance hallelujah hallelujah listen listen i was told the story of a woman pastor jakes married a man that god had blessed and then the man died as soon as the man died strangers came from left right and center and told her you have no inheritance in this they stripped that woman to the last of everything banish her and her children to go men they will smile at you and talk against you in the secret and hope for tragedy to come upon your life so that they will rejoice in your pain no you rejoice in my pain the god of vengeance will arise for you i tell you only a wicked man will see someone in pain and rejoice over it 
He said, rejoice not over me, my enemies. Though I fall, yet I will rise again. How many of our parents were betrayed by their best friends? They lost their job because of someone they knew was the person who signed the check. Sign them off. Say, destroy them. The Bible says, a man's enemies. Listen. 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 Koinonia, I know many of us are young people, but let me tell you, when you become a leader or when you become one who is in any position of responsibility, you will appreciate this prayer. There are men who will kill you and bury you smiling. They will kill you and bury you smiling. When Judas came to kiss Jesus, a kiss is a sign of love, correct? Yet a man used that sign of love as a symbol to an enemy. This is the guy. This is how you will kill him. How many people kissed you into your suffering today? They kissed you with a stupid advice. And that's, that's what has landed your life today. They told you, stop tithing. These men of God are crooks. They have destroyed your life. Are we together? Tonight, I want us to engage the word. To engage the word with your spirit. If you insist, brothers and sisters, God will give you a breakthrough. If you insist, God will give you a breakthrough. Are we together now? I want you to pray one last prayer and then I'll begin to minister by the spirit. Lord, visit the root cause of my challenges. I may not know what it is. I only know the effect. Oh God, go to the root. He says every tree, the axe is placed at the root. Every tree my father has not planted. Lord, go to the root cause of the barrenness in my life. The root cause as to why finances cannot stay in my hands. The root cause. Are you praying? Are you Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. If after tonight's meeting, you return with a testimony, nobody will ask you to run to the house of God. You will go by yourself. Do you know how many, why many people never see God? The truth is they are tired of lack of results. They are tired of it. Jumping around, doing all kinds of things. Yes, you don't love God just for results. But you've heard me say it again. At a point in your Christian experience, results must come as consolations to your serving God. Visit us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Visit us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Visit us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Visit us tonight. Let me make an altar call. Let's start with the altar call first. So that we'll finish right now. Please, everyone standing, no moving around. Outside your attention. There are people right here. Everything we boast of is in Christ. If you are not in Christ, there is no guarantee. Please listen very carefully. If you are not in Christ, there is no guarantee whatsoever. Are we together now? So you are here, we are talking about witchcraft, you have joined us to pray congratulations, but nothing will happen to you until there is a translation. Because when a man is not in Christ, the Bible says he is in the kingdom of darkness, the very domain of darkness. Are we together now? So when that prayer of salvation is offered in faith, there is a spiritual transfer. It is only on that basis you can challenge darkness. There are two categories of people very quickly. I'm going to make the altar call quickly. When you come, Pastor Jax will lead you in prayer. 
and then we'll take over and fly tonight and trust God to take us to a realm where we will never return never return to this level in the name of Jesus you are here and you are saying man of God is as if you are just prophesying to me you are right it's you I'm speaking to and I'm going to make an altar call one maybe two three minutes wherever you are outside I know there are lots of people you are saying man of God can God forgive me yes he can can God give me a new beginning? Absolutely. No one has made it in my family. You will be the first. If and only you receive him. He says, as many as believed in him, even to them that, I mean, as many as received him, even to them that believed in him, he gave them power to become. Power to become. You do not have the power, but you have the will. And you can choose. Right now, I'm going to make an altar call. Whether you are giving your heart to Jesus for the first time, or you want to rededicate your life man of god i gave my life to christ but somehow things have gone haywire no problem you are welcome if you are outside run like there's fire on the mountain any of the overflows you are inside here you run out i will count one to five very quickly one run like there's fire on the mountain if you are thinking about it go back to your seat give jesus praise please clear the way for them there are people running outside Let Jesus Christ step into your destiny. Koinonia, can you motivate them? Appreciate them as they come. Don't let any friend tell you why you're disgracing yourself. Shame the devil over your life tonight. God bless you. Keep coming. Man of God, you don't know what I've done. Just make that step of faith and come. Quickly. Run to Jesus. Run to Jesus. Keep coming keep coming there are still more people there are still more people if you came with a friend and he's trying to stop you leave him alone and come run to Jesus Every one of us in front, can you just lift up your hands? Lifting up your hands is a sign of surrender. Are you following? Please just lift up your hands and pray this prayer sincerely from your heart. Jesus loves you. I want you to understand that. Just say, Dear Lord Jesus. Say it out loud. I want to hear you speak. Say, Dear Lord Jesus. I come before you. I ask for forgiveness for my sins. I believe in the power of your blood. I believe in the power of your salvation. Forgive me of for all my sins. Thank you for new life. Thank you for newness in Christ Jesus. From today, I'm a child of God. I'm born again. My spirit is new. My heart is new before God. In the name of Jesus. Still lift up your hands while I quickly pray for you. Father, thank you for these precious ones. Thank you for the power of your blood. My Father, I ask even as your hands are lifted up, let your love, Lord, descend upon them. I ask that, Lord, the love of God will permit, the love of Christ will be shared abroad in their hearts by the Holy Ghost. Thank you for their lives, God. Thank you for writing their names in the Lamb's Book of Life. We give you praise. Thank you for the Holy Spirit that indwells them now. Thank you for the Holy Spirit helping them to walk in your ways, Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory. Thank you for your glory upon them, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. Please just look at me. Just the moment you turn, just in between the aisle, just you'll see somebody waving behind you. Please just follow him. We'd like to get your name, okay? Your name and some of your contact to get to pray with you. Hallelujah. God bless you. Precious saints, can we celebrate Jesus for this? Can we put our hands together and celebrate Jesus? Celebrate them. Congratulations. Congratulations. God bless you. Please. Let's attend to them quickly so that they can come. We're about to pray now. Hallelujah. We're about to pray. Before we pray, let me talk to two people. There's one inside, one outside that God is visiting their family. There's a mighty anointing that will come on them. One sister, a sister or so, someone inside 
and someone in the overflow outside the power of God is going to come on that person now God is bringing a strange deliverance I'm seeing a strange deliverance bring the person one inside one outside I just want to speak to them please quickly we have a lot to do tonight and we want to conserve time Lift your hands. I want to pray. Just bring the people. Father, end witchcraft now in her life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare that the reign of darkness is over. Bring this lady for me. Free now by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. Free. I'm going to pray for you. There will be a mighty deliverance right now. Listen, what is deliverance? Deliverance is not crying and rolling on the floor. Deliverance is by the power of God separating you from the spirits and the influences that are responsible for the challenges in your life. I'm going to pray for you. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. I'm already seen in the spirit. Mighty. Especially today, God is visiting visitors. If you are here for the first time, God is visiting visit us in a very strange way lift your hands don't say anything just lift your hands just keep your hands lifted please bring them just keep your hands lifted keep your hands lifted God is touching people it's a foolish instruction but it's what the Lord is telling me just keep your hands lifted like fire it's coming on people inside and outside bring them out God is visiting visitors 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 doesn't mean other people are not being touched but particularly visitors Father, spare not your hand. Spare not your hand. Spare not your hand. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let me pray now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying. There are men and women here right now under strange influences that has tied their lives, their destinies, in the name that is above all names whoever under the sound of my voice inside and outside if there is any spirit motivating the tragedies in your life as we shout that name Jesus there will be an eruption of fire in this place and all of a sudden God will begin ministering to people are you ready now at the count of three one two they must go from their hiding place. They must depart from their hiding place. They must depart from their hiding place. At the sound of his voice, I command every spirit, I command every devil, strange spirits tying down the destinies of men. I command you right now. There is mighty deliverance happening in the overflows outside. Mighty deliverance happening in the overflows outside. The power of witchcraft being broken. Being broken. Being 
broken. God is addressing issues of oppression. Oppression. Shakataya. It must end now. It must come to an end now. It must come to an end now. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a handwriting and I'm seeing setback and then slash delay. That's what God wants to deal with right now. God wants to deal with it. You don't need to know whether you belong to the category. The fire of God will locate you right now. Father, I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost, anyone under the sound of my voice, Shakata Bakata, under the yoke of setbacks, whether you are a visitor, whether you've been here for a long time, in the name of Jesus, I command that spirit to leave you now. I command that spirit to leave you now. The power of God is touching people. Delay, 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 delay. You are a strange spirit. I curse you by the God of heaven. Delay in destiny. Delay in achievement. that spirit I cost that spirit I cost that spirit bring the mommy out there's a mighty deliverance happening to her delay over your family broken 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 by the spirit Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is giving me a strange instruction. Please, sisters, lay your hands on your womb. Lay your hands on your stomach. Something remarkable is going to happen here right now. There is a kind of deliverance God is doing. I don't know what I'm even doing. But Lord, I pray right now. This is not for everybody. But I am seeing the Lord is instructing that they lay their hands. And I'm going to pray a prayer for you. You'll be surprised. Every stranger hiding in any sister's body that is responsible for the manipulation of their destinies in the name of Jesus by this prophetic instruction at the count of three release them now one two three release them now 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 Johnson Johnson I'm hearing a name Johnson 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 we are still praying please Johnson my God I tell you I see this fire falling on sisters I don't know what it is with ladies God is God is ministering a serious deliverance to ladies serious deliverance to ladies hallelujah hallelujah you are here in this place listen 
you never rise beyond a certain level it's not that you don't start please listen carefully i'm speaking by the spirit the moment is like there is a spiritual embargo you get to that height you must crash down wherever you are i'm prophesying now and i'm praying for you the power of god is looking for those people the power of god is looking for those people you rise to a level and fall you rise to a level and fall lord in the name of jesus inside and outside wherever you are i release that fire like a messenger to your life like a messenger to your life i cast that witchcraft now i cast that witchcraft now hallelujah the lord is showing me a vision my god hold on i'm seeing deliverance for children like little children the power of god is coming on small children in this place i'm seeing children being delivered some initiated into occultism some initiated into this let's just walk the way god is father in the name of jesus i speak to every little child in this place who is a victim of any satanic manipulation wherever they are don't be surprised if you see little children manifesting now wherever they are inside and outside i'm prophesying that the spirits symbols just the symbols please. right now wherever the children are i'm prophesying that the power of god will touch them touch them i set them free from activities of witchcraft occultism any kind of initiation if there is any little child here under any yoke of bondage i set them free now i set them free now hallelujah hallelujah my friend lift your hands that gentleman going tap him Hi. there is hardship in your family and the lord is asking me to curse it right now in the name of jesus i cause hardship let the anointing of the spirit come on you now i cause that spirit the spirit of hardship i curse you now i curse you now i curse you now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah listen if you are here and you have any blood disease just blood disease any kind any kind blood related issue lay your hand on your chest i want to pray for you right now blood related issue genotype whatever it is um, or any kind of thing maybe any sickness that is blood related please i want to pray for you right now the lord is giving me that instruction very quickly i want to pray for you I'm seeing a lady who is AS. God is about to change her genotype now. 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 A dramatic change of genotype from AS to SS. From AS to AA. By the Spirit. By the Spirit. By the Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please. If you come from a family where no one in your family is working, lift your hands. Nobody, no job. Nobody, just, please just do what I'm asking you to do. Let's save time. Just lift your hands. Nobody at all is working. No matter what happens, just lift your hands. I want to pray for you lift your hands i want to pray for you jesus 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 i'm i'm looking at hands lifted and and for some of the hands i'm seeing like a rope this is not necessarily you 
this is a representation of your family and I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Get ready for the power of God. Right now, wherever you are, even those who didn't lift their hands, I decree and declare that that yoke of joblessness comes under attack right now. Right now, right now, right now, right now, I release them. I release them. I release their jobs. I release their jobs by the power of the Holy Ghost. 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 The the Holy Ghost. We end joblessness here right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The spirit of revelation is coming on 17 people. One seven, one seven, one seven. At the count of four, this is the instruction God gives me. Unusual access to illumination. Lord, where are they? Inside and outside. One. Ta -ba -ta 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 -ta. Two. Three. Strange illumination. Four. Take it now. Take it now. The spirit of revelation on common access to the secrets of the kingdom. On common access. 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 I release it in the spirit. Access. 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 Hallelujah. Please make sure you receive every word that is coming every word come god is going to use you come come and stand here lift your hands stand up in the name of jesus i don't know you huh but an anointing will come upon your life today and god is going to change your life like day and night receive that grace right now strange grace step into that dimension that dimension there are impartations going on now let's just receive the impartations impartations not healings not healings impartations impartations i release the gifts of the spirit right now right now i release the gifts of the spirit lord stir up the fountain stir up the waters stir up the waters i release the gifts of the spirit strange gifts strange gifts Strange manifestations of power, of power, healing anointings, healing anointings. I activate healing anointings right now. Healing anointings. Step into it. Step into it. Outside, inside. Step into it. God is releasing mantles, mantles of healing, ancient mantles of healing, ancient mantles. Grace for barrenness. Grace for barrenness. Grace for barrenness. Healing barren cases. Hallelujah. Hold on. I'm still praying. I'm still praying. God wants to release the healing anointing. Let's just stay here with this healing thing. God wants to release there are many more people i'm not seeing them receive it yet father you want to release this grace there is such a grace as a healing anointing i pray for you right now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands inside and outside like a tornado may the power of god come on you now everyone everyone everywhere men women take it take it Take it, fire upon your spirit. Hello, human night. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hello, human tonight. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hello, human tonight. I don't know how we are going to manage this now 
ushers there is a prophecy for you the lord says i should tell you from now as you hold people and as you shake them there will be a transference on every one usher i'm prophesying now that's why i say i don't know what we'll do ushers ushers receive that mantle receive that mantle a strange healing grace coming on our ushers supernatural supernatural the unction take it take it where you are let that fire come upon you upon ushers in a strange way upon ushers in a strange way the grace for the miraculous no longer will you just hold people no longer will you just welcome people as you clean the seats you release strange mantles hallelujah we'll soon pray for the sick but please everyone lift your hands lift your hands i want to pray i'm seeing people here the anointing for business and entrepreneurship just keep your hands up please keep your hands i want to pray for you don't say i'm not calling to a businessman that's none of your business just listen to what i'm saying i want to pray for you is a grace is a grace i believe maybe in the course of the service we'll call a jimmy here to just prophesy that grace and release it truly truly upon your life lift your hands brothers and sisters there is a grace for the marketplace you don't go there through desire it's not that you are a, mon a money monger you just go but strange ideas strange insight do you know i'm seeing a number four and one 41 this will affect many people inside and outside whether you're a businessman or not is not what i'm asking you that grace will locate you where you are a grace for the marketplace lord in the name of jesus inside and outside all the overflows online anyone here who must step into that grace whether you know anything about the marketplace or not take that grace now take that grace now i release it supernatural access 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 to business strategies access to ideas take it right now receive it receive it it's coming on people receive it receive it receive it is coming on you so that you will go and prosper 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 there is a woman one of our mothers this grace that i'm talking about is coming on you now now one of our mothers one of our mothers is receiving that grace god is releasing that grace whether you are inside or outside whoever it is i release that grace now there is a woman i'm seeing in the spirit you must take that grace now you must take that grace now uncommon ability uncommon ability uncommon insight for the works of your hands to begin to produce fruits hallelujah hallelujah listen look at me please help them how many of you are trusting god to restore something that has left your life it can be anything how many of you are trusting god i want to release that grace now and i want you to believe it some of you had destiny help us but something happened and they left your life some of you had quality relationships but it left your life some of you had finances but it left your life some of you even had certain levels of graces the lord is asking me to prophesy restoration Kai, this is going to land on people's head i'm saying this thing there are physical gifts 
you used to see in your life not gifts of the spirit not just gifts of the spirit gifts gifts endowments for some reason it disappeared some of you are actually worshippers singers but that grace left is coming back is coming back i invoke the grace that he has put upon my life i prophesy strange restoration i call it by name and i command it back to your life i call it by name everything you once were that you now are not i command you to become it now i command you to become it now i release that grace i release that grace receive it i release that grace i release that grace hallelujah now listen listen there are some of us hear me you have been doing certain things but the anointing for what you are doing has not yet come on your life this is a very serious prayer i want to pray for you you have been doing business with the brain of a money monger but not the grace for the marketplace you have been singing only with the voice of a musician but not the spirit of david i want to release the anointing of your office the anointing that has to do with your function please i want you to believe what i'm praying hear me hear me hear me it's one thing david was anointed to step into his office are you anointed for what you are doing i know you are working you want promotion is there an unction you are working with or are you just working with certificate at the count of three i want you to shout jesus there will be distribution of graces it's like an alignment the anointing the oil of your call the oil of what you are doing is about to locate you father in the name of jesus i pray right now whoever is functioning without an anointing functioning without the oil i stand upon this ground and i prophesy at the count of three may the grace that will distinguish you come upon you get ready now one one two two three receive that grace now take it take it grace grace for your academics grace for the ministry grace Help me. The chains are gone. That help me back. Hey, 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 your power say you have shown me so much mercy much more than I deserve hallelujah 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 please I'm seeing something happening here right now there are people who are receiving grace for speed and they will start running physically hold them hold them so they don't injure people i release the grace you won't control yourself physically running speed physically i release that grace now receive grace for speed receive grace for speed right now right now i command you to run run in the spirit catch up catch up Catch up by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. I release speed. I release speed. I release speed. Speed to your life. Speed to your destiny. Speed to your life. Speed to your destiny. Speed to 
your life. Speak to your destiny. Words you speak, something's around your arms. Run like Elijah, run like Elijah. You took away the chains and that help me. Much more than I desire. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to pray for the sick now. Listen. Please. Three things. Let me just give three instructions. Hold on please everyone. The worship team will continue right now. Now we are going to be very fast about this. Number one. Number two. Please. If you have not written your prayer request or the ones of your loved ones please i permit you put on your phone and call them tell them to send it as a text message write it we are going to be praying here tonight and we are going to be asking the fire of god to fall on request don't assume if you have not written it no problem settle down think well and write you are here you are trusting god for healing i understand there are a few sick people that they brought around please we are going to do it this way if your case is very sensitive then you can bring them to the front here but those outside please just walk to the um well there are a lot more people outside really well for those who can come in let's see but for those who may not make it you can walk to the front and then down there i'm here pastor jakes is here um we'll just station ourselves one one and then the other people will just support so that we can do it very fast praise god thank god pastor jakes is here and jimmy is here hallelujah praise god hold on so outside you can just walk at your various projector stands and stand there for those who have come in just allow them don't stop them let them come in that does not mean everybody will stream in please are we together if you're standing just stand trust god if they don't ask you what is wrong with you don't worry they just lay hands on you praise the lord Ejimi, please you help us Ejimi will be outside here and pastor jakes will be down outside there praise the lord benga you go with pastor jakes you will help pastor jakes outside um pastor alpha you'll be outside just help them and then um who is around again is femi around okay so you can just come and help me here so let's do it that way very fast very very fast if there are more people there see promise is here michael is here so maybe you can add one okay promise just follow promise follow pastor jakes michael follow a jimmy please let's do it very very fast while hold on please don't be distracted don't cut the flow we are going to be very fast at this and we'll pray and then i'll speak over your life many miracles are happening even whilst you are seated don't be distracted i expect you to be writing your request and be praying in the spirit hallelujah for those stationed at different points whether at the back any of the overflows i'd like you to believe god for a miracle right now believe god for a miracle you can see someone like our daddy he has come with his crutch believing god to walk you believe you walk sir you believe the lord will heal you so get ready to walk you see there are people stationed around we are going to pray this will be very very fast and then the lord will help us in the name of jesus christ hallelujah father thank you let me start with our daddy first how long have you been like this sir six months stroke who brought him who came with our daddy you came by yourself sir came by myself by yourself from where sir first station here yeah. you cannot walk I can move with this walking stick. Which but of the legs has a problem? This is the leg. This is stroke. Yes. Can you lift it? No, I can't. I can't. The hand, I can't lift Hold it. on. 
Look at this. Sir, look at me. You believe in Jesus? I believe. You believe in the power of I Jesus? Believe. Lord, I introduce your kingdom to this man's life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Huh? The Lord will begin to touch you. Your hands, everything is already dead. Sir, lift your leg. Lift your leg. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Lift your leg. Lift it. Lift your leg. Lift your leg. Start. Try to walk gently. Come. Come. Try to walk gently. Come. Give me the stick. Look at me. Look at your stick. Come. 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 Don't be afraid. Come. Lift your leg. Look at this. Look at what is happening to this man. Came with this stick. Look at this. 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 Look at chair and just keep him let him sit down while the power of God touches him sir you came here by yourself um trusting okay and the boy has gone okay he's somewhere in the name of Jesus Christ the God you believe has begun this miracle you will perfect it look for a stick for him there hold your stick by yourself and go don't put it on the ground hold it up walk by yourself and go give Jesus praise look at what God is Heal now in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is destroying witchcraft in your life in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Someone is still sick here someone is still sick here I'm feeling the healing anointing pulling out from me someone is still sick here no 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 I'll pray for you but I'm saying I feel it within this vicinity from ministers go down choir someone is sick come let me pray for you you came out lift your hands Jesus someone is still sick here Someone has to be healed here now. Someone is sick here. I know when the anointing has released me to do something else. I still feel that someone is sick. Someone is sick. Someone is still sick. Lord, let that person be healed. This is a miracle service. This is a miracle service. This is a miracle service. Just this vicinity. I sense it's like, you know how someone is pulling your cloth? Jesus said, virtue has gone out of me. That's what I'm still feeling. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There's a gentleman here. Your elder brother has a case. I may not be able to mention the case. This is a health-related case but this is a challenge with married people this has affected is one of the worst things that can happen to a man in marriage and the Lord is bringing a miracle right now right now elder brother supernatural miracle is coming to that person by the power of the Holy Spirit Hi. you are holding her but something is leaving her to you now you who is holding her something is leaving her to you there is there is virtue i see a transference of grace from a jimmy's wife to you you are doing your work as an usher but you have received something very strange and very powerful 
You see, let me tell you something. If, if you do not, you say, hold on. Walking in the anointing is more than having it. Having the anointing is very different from being able to navigate the pathways of the anointing. If not, you will be anointed, but you will not be able to dispense it fruitfully because you are just guessing. It's like a man shooting anyhow. You must have discernment. Many people think all it takes, once you can speak and someone falls, they say, I am anointed. What do you know about the anointing? The anointing is more than releasing something mysterious to somebody. It must accomplish something. This, you need more discernment than even the anointing, the substance. The ability to look at, for instance, like these people who have been touched now. You are an anointed man of God. You are finished praying. You go to the next thing. You see, insensitivity in the spirit. This is not guesswork. If you are guessing, you will not see the results like this. It's not, it's not guessing. So please learn it. I know that this is a place where we value the anointing. And there are many of you, you are waiting for me to prophesy, release impartation after this now. It's not... It's not just about holding people. Ah, hold this lady. Hold Mukhtar's wife. An anointing is coming on her. Please hold her. Her and Mata, two of them. There is, I don't know what it is, but I'm seeing. I don't know why God is doing this thing. It's a strange. Hallelujah. God, God is giving two of them strange favor. Strange favor. I see strange favor strange favor America God is giving you access I'm seeing you like a crown coming on your head and God is saying he's giving you strange access strange access strange access strange access strange access Muas God is giving strange favor strange favor favor hallelujah i don't know what i'm saying but this is a word for someone and the lord is saying why make it next year when i have destined it to be this year why make it next year when i have destined it to be this year this is the word of the lord why make it next year this is a word for many people when i've destined it to be this year as i speak to you the word is for you the power of God will locate you. Why make it next year? When I have destined you to be this year. It's the year of triumph. It's the year of triumph. Why make it next year? Just allow me to do my stupidity. Why make it next year? When I have destined it to be this year. Why make it next year? When I have destined it to be this year. My God. hallelujah there is a lady here you have been disappointed with god right now you actually came help the ushers you came expecting that i would directly call your case and you you you, you pray this thing but now it looks like we're about to pray and i didn't call your case the power of god is coming on you now now as a sign that god had now wherever you are he's locating you now now i command that spirit to leave you i see you in the spirit go now in the name of the lord jesus christ i stretch my hands now and i command by the power of the Holy Ghost, let her go now. Peace to your spirit. Every devil carries his nonsense and lives with you. Right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Scriptures talk 
about a blessed man that happens to be okay, we your can man just do it. whose delight this is, a, this is, is in the Lord. There are two moments in so every miracle one, service six. you should not miss. Think, but his delight ah. is in the Lord is, God. I mean, God is just and doing certain things. It's like it something is really happening. Don't night. worry about what is happening. He says that that man is like God, see, let me tell you, right now, by the if the anointing comes on you, just know that it's the answer to your prayer. Well, who this is not a special one. The anointing comes on you. As you Just know that your prayer has been message. answered. We believe that you understand? Your this is what. It doesn't mean if the anointing, if you don't fall down, it's not answered. I'm not water. saying that, but I'm saying this is how God is choosing today. to and confirm to some people now, as I'm talking, that your prayer, no matter how difficult it is, no matter how difficult your prayer is, we have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel. As well as the like Hike Hits, hit that notification bell now, everyone, to receive more updates your from us. Because we know that this whatever content come. here is going to set you on call right that every time. It's going to make you attain your hands here whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. I'm praying Thank the Holy you. Ghost. Stretch your hands and pray in the Holy Ghost from the depth of your heart. Stretch your hands. Shakato pakata. Leketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketekete
in the name of Jesus we give you praise father we thank you we thank you we thank you in Jesus name we have decreed come on give Jesus praise give Jesus mighty praise hallelujah please say to me still come pastor Jake's come I just feel like doing this is I, I don't always do this but I want to prophesy over your lives and in the name of Jesus they are my friends but the Lord is telling me to speak over their lives they are great men of God in power but in the name of Jesus the Lord is saying I should prophesy the next dimension to prophesy a new level and in the name of Jesus I speak it step into a new dimension a Jimmy God is saying I should release grace for access I command that grace strange access strange access by the power of the Holy Ghost strange access gifted men coming into your life connections with gifted men in the name of Jesus and pastor Jake's God is giving you influence strange influence strange influence strange influence strange influence is a very strange apostolic dimension of influence Lord I pray in the name of Jesus that you will bless them wherever your wives are I bring them into this experience now 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 wherever they are I prophesy to Tosin wherever she is and I speak to hope you are one so I prophesy as it happens to you I bring your wives into this experience in the name of Jesus strange levels of access strange levels of access strange levels of influence hallelujah hallelujah let me do this just once i spotted lizzie somewhere one of the oldest year nine lady come she came in from abuja part of the founding people that started this ministry all the way and the lord is saying i should prophesy a release i told you about ladies who used to climb trees when this ministry started no money no nothing they were in welfare they were in worship team at the same time they would climb trees and pluck the firewood for cooking for us for the crusades and the lord is saying i should pray and prophesy and open up a new dimension that it is for her does not mean you cannot receive it you see the thing with prophecy is the moment there is hunger it will still land on your head praise the lord father in the name of jesus i lay my hands right now over lizzie and lord jesus i prophesy i prophesy according to the word that you are giving me i open up a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter shabaka toto barekete zat kaska paskata paskata pash legete to soto preteke skopariya a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter and as many who desire to drink of this grace a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter as many who desire to drink of this grace a new chapter in the name of jesus a new chapter listen i prophesy to you a new chapter by the power of the holy ghost Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. We are rounding up. Who is this girl? Come. You. God has chosen to visit you. Come. Come and stand here. God is wiping your tears. This prayer I'm praying for you will open the tulip gates of your destiny. I lay my hands upon you and I command the gates to be opened now. I stood there and I saw you and the Lord said I should open that gate. I lay my hands upon you. I command the gates to be open. Be open right now. Be open right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be open right now. We're rounding up. We're rounding up. Please, this lady with uh, yellow, blue, you come. I don't know you but the Lord is asking me to pray for you lift your hands 
this is a real prayer to usher you into a strange realm of blessings i lay my hands and i remove the embargo from your destiny in the name of jesus christ i command uh -uh. i'm praying for you but i'm seeing my hand on you i'm praying for you but i'm seeing my hand on you jesus please visit them strange visitations in the name of jesus christ strange visitations lift your hands please hallelujah hallelujah ah i just saw a door open and i saw a name come out listen i saw a name come out and i saw the okalo family the okalo family this is okalo family okalo family okalo family okalo family god is visiting your all three of you step into that grace i open that door now the okalo family step into that grace open 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 i open that door an age-long witchcraft broken over your family an age-long witchcraft broken over your family an age-long witchcraft broken over your family i prophesy to you in the name of jesus a dramatic restoration of everything that by the power of witchcraft has tied you down whatever has covered your glory i speak it right now in the name of jesus let it be open 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 i unveil your glory i unveil your glory i unveil your glory shaka ta 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 i unveil your glory i unveil your glory tonight is a strange night please receive every prophetic word that i'm going to pray for you ah just allow me to do one more thing the spirit of god i have not seen this in a while i'm now seeing the map of nigeria and i see benway state the spirit of god is going to benway right now right now touching people you know how it happens when i speak benway benway miracles locate them now oh god people from benway benway strange grace strange grace i break witchcraft benway i'm seeing benway hallelujah hallelujah i don't know if i'm pronouncing it right i'm seeing i know or to go but i'm seeing the o a a at the is there a place like that or to buy or something the power of god i'm seeing that going to that area the lord is bringing a miracle ends with an a whoever comes from that region in the name of jesus breakthrough 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 strange breakthrough strange breakthrough benway 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 i don't know why god is doing this but i'm prophesying it may the angel of the lord's presence step into that place hallelujah i'm seeing another name on the map emo 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 where are they oh god emo 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 state emo state the anointing of the spirit locates them now strangely matato sotota emo state miracles miracles breakthroughs signs wonders miracles miracles to evil states by the spirit of the living god hallelujah if you're from cross river cross river kalaba something is happening right now cross river cross river cross river cross river help her help her please 
Hallelujah. Please lift your hands, everyone. It's the Minister of Signs and Wonders. Let me talk to you, my dear. This lady looking at me. You, come. The Lord has located you today. Come. Lift your hands. The Lord says I should tell you for shame. He is bringing laughter to your life. For shame. He is bringing laughter to your life. For shame. He is bringing laughter to your life. For shame. He is bringing laughter to your life. Lift your hands. We are rounding up. You've heard me say it again that this is the most powerful part of the service. I want you to believe it. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, the anointing flows through me to you. And I know when the anointing is heaviest. It's only because many of us are already used to some of these things. And so you think when these things are happening, you don't judge the anointing just by physical manifestations. I want to pray for you. Please receive everything I pray for you. Every age-long challenge every challenge that has refused to leave i prophesy upon it right now i command that it comes to an end in your life now 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 that fair lady come this lady time run come Lift your hands, I'm still praying. In the name of Jesus, listen. Whatever has brought shame and dishonor like a stigma to your life, I roll it away right now in the name of Jesus. I roll it away right now in the name of Jesus. I roll it away right now in the name of Jesus. I roll it away right now in the name of Jesus. My dear, look at me. I saw you inside a cave and I'm surprised because we've prayed for, for deliverance prayer. And I saw you inside a cave. You are just trying to push the door. That's why I asked you to come out. Let me, I don't know you. Do I know you? Where did you come from? Where? Where is that? I don't know. Here in Zaria. I'm going to pray for you. God is bringing a major breakthrough. Two things. God is going to throw somebody out of your life. I'm not a prophet of group, but it will happen. He will reach three days. Huh? Throw completely so that you can move forward. I hold your hands in the name of Jesus. Every deceiver of your destiny will drive them far from you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. You need to love Jesus with all your heart. Right? You are a nice person but your relationship with Jesus. You, you can get teachings after this, but I want to prophesy on your life. God is taking somebody, not death, oh, just driving somebody out, an unwanted person out of your life. I prophesy the kind of favor you have never seen. I lay my hands on you, and I provoke the heavens to release that favor for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare over every family represented here, whether your nuclear family your extended family hold on i don't know what has gone wrong but in the name of jesus within now and miracle service match dramatic turn around for families dramatic turn around for families dramatic turn around for families in the name of jesus one of the mysteries responsible for open doors and new levels is the irrefutable ministry of destiny helpers. I want to pray for you. I don't know where they are, but one thing I know is they never come on their own. They are called by prophecy. I prophesy to the north. I prophesy to the south. I prophesy to the east. I prophesy to the west. The helper of your destiny I command them to appear now. 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 Hallelujah. Come. Come and hold my hands. Congratulations. I'm seeing a job. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a very good job. 
when the Lord is saying I should congratulate you, look at me. You will stand here and testify before the people of all the Holy Ghost said I should tell you is congratulations and I hold your hand in the name of Jesus Christ may it come to pass I decree and declare the results you have not had in 10 years put together in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God in one month 30 days I stand here under the unction of the Holy Ghost 30 days beginning from today step into those results step into those results ah, yeah, 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 yeah. step into those results step into those results strange dimensions of results hallelujah whoever has despised you whether to your knowing or not to your knowing I pray may God put them on the scene as he lifts you may they watch your rising as God honors you I pray for anyone here whose spiritual life has gone down prayer life down your praise and worship life down fasting down word life down in the name of Jesus Christ I activate fresh grace receive it fresh grace fresh fire outside receive it fresh grace fresh fire fresh grace hallelujah wherever your prosperity is i pray may listen listen hagar carried ishmael and they were roaming around the desert they said there was no water but when an angel appeared, all of a sudden they saw water. That you have not seen it does not mean it's, there, it's not there. I open your eyes to see where God has anointed to bring you financial blessings. I open your eyes in the name of Jesus. I open your eyes to see where God has placed your prosperity. Hallelujah. The plague of death that is looming around this nation looking for people and families is listen it's like a graph it rises then sometimes it relaxes i'm praying whoever calls your name i'm prophesying this all whether in the secret or the open to invoke death upon your life i command the earth to open and swallow them I command the earth to open and swallow them. Whoever prophesies that it will not be well with you, may misery follow them. The Esther anointing, the unction and the grace, that granted Esther uncommon access in the presence of Ahasuerus Shababa Satalakata in the name of the Lord Jesus I release the Esther anointing upon your destiny right now take it I release the Esther anointing upon your destiny hallelujah two more prayer points and we're done hallelujah listen listen many of us do not understand the mystery of spiritual defense and protection listen i want to pray something that is very powerful in your life listen when you are in trouble and there is nobody to show up for you it's a cause are you hearing what i'm saying now the bible says defend you in the day of trouble there are many of us if for any reason things go wrong in your life you are in trouble there is nobody that can arise as a defense but i'm prophesying to you right now in the name of jesus christ whoever must arise and defend your cause in the presence of your helpers and in the presence of your persecutors i call them forth right now in the name of Jesus may God raise men to be a wall of defense for you in this wicked um, wicked state that we are living right now in this country 
people say if you don't have anybody and honestly speaking somebody can get up and come and seize your land you and your land and your paper they will collect it because there is no defense i'm prophesying again quarter to shame may god raise a defense for you and finally i want to pray the prayer of jabez for you many of us ha, many of us have not studied honor is not money listen listen there are many rich people with no honor are we together there are many well-to-do people with no honor do you know what honor is honor is when god anoints men to lavishly discern and celebrate what you represent without reservation so for every one person who talks nonsense there are thousands honor jabez said oh that the mother bore him in sorrow you brought shame for me so i call you jabez honor is more than money brothers and sisters the bible says a good name is better than riches i pray the mantle of honor that by the grace of god has rested upon this ministry in the name that is above all name for as many who have the grace and the discernment to receive take that mantle right now take that mantle right now they don't have to know you but strangers will come to feed your flock receive that grace for honor hallelujah wave your hands to jesus and praise him wave your hands to jesus and praise him. wave your hands to jesus and praise him wave your hands thank you jesus we bless you we lift our hands hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you